Ask, ask me why I'm wearing my mask. Ask me why I'm wearing my mask. Oh, why are you in something fishy? <laughs> oh, that's so, so crap. Honestly, it's awful. It is awful. I know, but you laughed, so it, I it laughed clearly... at you. Yeah, no, no, you you laugh because you think you think I wish I wish I was, I was that good to come up with something like that. Honestly. That's what you. That's what you honestly think. And if and anything, you just, I'm you just won't admit. Embarrassed. I'm embarrassed for you. Well, you're embarrassed it because go, you're... it didn't go according to plan, though, did it? It really didn't go according to plan. Well, I bet people laughed. I bet people went, "Uh huh, they, yeah, yeah, I get that." I really I think bet. people may have laughed at you still. No, no, they laugh with me. They laugh at I you. I know you think you that. Just... I know you think that. Anyway, so um, given that it's quite late at night, I was in, I was really sort of deliberating whether to have a cup of tea and a biscuit or beer. <laughs> and beer one. What about you? Where's your <laughs> Where's your drink? Oh, it's just oh yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah. Hang on. Let me just wipe that off your forehead. Yeah. So That's good evening, show, everyone. Yeah. Welcome to the West Ham Late Late. And like you know, hold on a second. The Late Late Show. Go on. The Late Late Show. The Late Late. I don't know. There's something gets... about calling it the Late Late. I don't know. Something you oh, know. Of course. Of course. I'll have a chat with you about it afterwards. Oh yeah, yeah. But basically, it means you just do what you want. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That's absolutely <laughs> correct. <laughs> I'm Just glad you finally right. realised after yeah. all this time that I, what I do is what's right for the yeah. best for the channel. Best for the channel. Do you know what I did? Anyway. I just, yeah, I just I didn't realise you were perfect. Go, well, now you fucking do. Go on, introduce <laughs> the show. What what are we going to talk about? If as if people didn't bloody well know. Well, I don't, well, I don't know what. Maybe it's your turn to introduce the show. Come on, Steph. Okay. Well, good evening, everyone, and wait, welcome to the West Ham. <laughs> Welcome to the West Ham Late Late on the West Ham Network. <laughs> and uh, Sorry, the news West Ham Network. <laughs> on the West <laughs> And the news that out that uh, um, uh, legend Tony Cotty, TC, has thrown his weight behind the PAI Capital bid. Um, and I, I was a little bit surprised when I heard it, if I have to be honest, mate. I, what, what did you think? So really, it's a it's it's a tough one. I mean, I don't doubt for a second the way they've conducted their business that they would have made tried to make more moves, um, to generate more media coverage, more media attention. And that's exactly what they've went and done. What's that flashing light? What? Why does that keep doing that? Can you see that? It's like something's flash. Oh, I know what it is. <sighs> Fucking there you go. I've just stopped it. Um. I genuinely think that there is, I'm concerned still, I'm concerned. I'm not surprised. I'm you're not, not surprised, surprised that it's Cotty or I'm you're not, not I'm, surprised I'm a little bit that they've surprised. got another, another I'm player, ex player? I'm a, little, I'm a little bit surprised that it's Cotty because I would have thought from listening to what Cotty has said in the past, he likes to be involved from the start. Which he wasn't. In which he time. wasn't. And if anything he's ever done before in the past, um, means that he's been involved from the start so that that part is the part that confuses me because unless yeah i mean unless he genuinely believes that these guys are the right thing for a takeover i know but, we've got to be careful but do you genuinely believe that he genuinely that he genuinely believes that this is the right move well i i think there's going to be fans out there that do think this could be the right move and there's going to be fans out there that don't think this is going to be the right move under her circumstances i don't know my concern is that the way that they're conducting their business, and, and and I think any West Ham fan, whether you hate the board or want this lot in, would look at this, the way that they've conducted their business, and think that's not great. I'm not going to lie. We I was doing a live show earlier on, and someone announced that some, um, that Tom Skinner mm -hmm. on Twitter announced that it was Tony Cotty that was going to be joining the PAI. And before isn't they that, isn't it that or something like. doesn't that continue to be uh, a PR disaster for for PAI Capital? The fact that they they Philip Beard came out right at, right at the start of this when um, when it was discovered that uh, they made a bid and said, I don't want to, basically kind of alluded to, I don't want to do this in public. I don't want to do my dirty washing, whatever, whatever phrase he used. And here they are. At every given opportunity, 
putting things out through social media. I've got no no beef with uh, what's his name, Tom Tom Skinner. Was it? Is it Tom Skinner? Yeah, Tom Skinner. Yeah. I've got no beef with him, but it's not with, it's great, not, with the greatest of respect. If I was about to buy a half a half a billion pound business, I don't think he'd be the person I'd want to be the. But it's not man. that. No, but it's not even that. It's the fact that you know, fair play to the the guy. He's, he's doing his. He's doing what anyone would want to do which is go make money for their business there's nothing wrong with that and you know i don't doubt for a second he loves the club i don't doubt any for any second i would never judge anyone for supporting the club and to be honest i'm just trying to work you know if if you'd have said to me six or seven years ago um i'm a consortium that's willing to buy the club i may have done the same so I can't fault him for that. I don't. I don't remotely. I'm just saying it's the fact that this large, supposedly large investor company have approached him and gone about it and put it in the public domain through sources of him and sources like going to talk sport and having these conversations, which don't sound right. And you well, know, let's get on to talk sport later because I want to dissect that a little bit because yeah, yeah, yeah. you and I have had a good chat with a certain individual. Well, I certainly have. Actually, no, it was me. Yeah, um, with a certain individual that we all know and love. Uh, you know the, um, you know the, the historian, the West Ham historian, and he gave me some snippets that uh, were I, I thought were quite telling and quite interesting. So yeah. let's dissect. Let's dissect Philip Beard's shit show on Talksport later. So let's just focus on Mister Mister um, Cotty. And let's see what he said today. So, and you're absolutely right. You know, he hasn't been there from the start. And what he said today was, I've been following the bid closely and have had detailed discussions with the PAI team recently. Having got to know the people involved and having had the opportunity to learn more about their plans, I'm pleased to announce that I'm fully behind the PAI bid. Everyone knows how much this club means to me. We have no doubt about that. I want the best for West Ham players, the staff, the fans, and I'm confident the PAI will deliver on all fronts. And then he went on to say, we've spoken at length about what is needed. Um, those discussions have included Rio, Anton, and the rest of the bidding team. So is he now part of the bidding team? And we're all on the same page about what can be done. There's a real passion from everyone involved and a confidence that we can reach the goals we have set out to achieve. The first one, of course, is getting the fans to believe in this bid. We want the fans to support this, and I'm hoping that I can help with this conversation. So what the way PAI, PAI continue to approach this is fan pressure. They know the fans are upset and disgruntled with all the, with all the stuff that's gone on in the past. As each day goes by and we don't announce a new signing, there'll be more disgruntlement. And surely PAI are trying to capitalise on our, I don't want to call it our misery, but they're trying to capitalise on our concern. Is that the right Is that the right way to do things? Because they're going to put themselves up, you know, um, in a, in, they're going to put themselves in a position where, you know, everything that we're currently saying that the current owners don't do, buying players and spending money, which is all fallacy because we know they do spend money. They just don't spend it wisely. But everything that they're suggesting, they're playing to the fans, um, what's the, you know, sort of fears, they could be in that position in two or three years' time themselves, couldn't they? Yeah, absolutely. But then again, anyone could be still. I think the thing, the biggest question I would ask them would be, what are you showing Rio, Anton and Tony that you're not showing the fans? That you're not showing us. And that's yeah. the biggest question I would want to know. So there's been no interview that's been selling to me as a fan. There's been no media coverage at all that they've put out that's been remotely made me for, think form a positive opinion on the situation. There's been no interview that they've conducted, no, no, no article that they've put out. Nothing they've put out has filled me with any form of these guys will come in and do something that's right for this club um and it always it, 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 you know you do your own work you do your own you know investigational work into it and you start to work out your own form your own opinion and stuff and you've got there's an element where you should you should be able to trust the legends of the club you should be able yep. to trust the legends of the club you should be able to listen you know and people whether you think real is a legend or not 
I don't doubt for a second, even though he said some comments, that he does have a probably a love. He's just been he's a footballer. He, they, it's a whole new world they're involved in. They're a whole new world still. They get paid. He's been he's been looked after for ten years at Manchester United, mm-hmm. you know, and and paid and and lives his life really comfortably thanks to that lifestyle that he had through Manchester United. He won everything he ever won at Manchester United. So the point I'm trying to make is that that these three people are speaking out. Do we are we then suggesting, or are people in the chat suggesting that they've been paid to speak out, or well, do they genuinely point. believe that point, because... these guys are one hundred percent behind it? Because, but, but I'll be honest, like, why would you throw your name against something if you didn't believe in it? If you are a West Ham fan, well, let's dissect that in a minute. Let you know, uh, Pat. I think this is what I was alluding to. Cotty needs to give it a rest. Oh, good, e- good evening, everyone. Thank you for all for joining. By the way, oh, what's everyone, the like target evening. still? Uh, well, we're only on 128, so I'm going for 100. Only. Um, Cotty needs to give it a rest. He's in every consortium that sticks its head up over the pulpit. And then P. Gad says, does Cotty need the money? Well, we know De- uh, we know Cotty has recently left Sky Sports after 20 years there. Um, I don't want to say that Cot- I, mean, I mean, you know, you, you don't condone anyone that wants to earn a living. And and it and it links to the point that you've just made. Is there a true belief, or is this because they're being paid? Look at let's look at Rio. You know, uh, Rio says, you know, I love this club for the best interest of the club, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Then he puts whatever he's on Instagram or whatever and goes, United, 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 I'm home. And then he goes on again about how West Ham should sell Rio Fer- um, Rio Fer- no. West Ham should sell um, Declan to Man United. You know, so where, where's that? What's he going to do? Is he going to be part of this consortium that takes over? And the first thing they do is out Declan for 80, 90 million quid. Is that the way they're going to raise money? Because Moyes can do that now if that's what he wants to do. Yeah. You yeah. know, it doesn't need a new consortium to, to do this. Um, and uh, and I and, and then when it comes to, you, you know, people are put into. I mean, I was on Facebook earlier tonight and people are putting two, two and two together and saying, Cot has just lost his job at uh, Sky. Um, you know, are they paying him to 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 say this, or does Cotty truly believe in this? And 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 if you do care, you know, we go back to his statement. You know, um, this club means a lot to me. You know, I want the best for the players. Well, how's this good for the players when all this is going on in the background um, after the season zone just started, and we're still we we still got the transfer window open, uh, the staff and the fans. You know, I don't, I don't know. I'm not saying that he doesn't believe the words he he, he says, but uh, it, it, is it is it really the best for the players? Is it really the best for the staff? You don't know what PAI are going to do, do you? We no, you don't know does. how nobody they does can... except for yeah, but nobody does except for apparently you know the people, the investors, and TC and Rio and Anton. But you know, we're talking about a club legend here, a proper club legend that that you know, is willing to put his neck on the line for the sake of the fans. I mean, he's been very vocal throughout his whole punditry about the situation we're in. Um, and he's been very vocal, probably against the board. And, and, and you know, he, he loves the club. There's no ifs or buts about it. He absolutely loves the club. So it's a tough one because we're sitting here trying to dissect whether or not someone is truthfully following this for a real reason. But we don't... We, we don't know and we'll and we'll never know really we'll never know even if he's paid or not paid we'll still never know whether he truthfully believes it because the only person that knows that's going to be him but I, I, I i'm concerned my main concern is not tc my main concern is not really anton and rio my main concern is how they've conducted their business still mm-hmm. um and, and pai capital themselves pai capital themselves yeah, yeah the way it's yeah. been done and i think my only other concern my concern was about um would be that he, Tony Cotty, has always been involved in consortiums from the start. As you said, yeah. So mm-hmm. I I don't, I'm, I struggle to believe, I, I struggle with the part that he's joined something when it's midst of, 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 of taking place, where you, at, at that stage when you're wanting to be part of a takeover and change the club for the better, you would want to be there from the start because you would want to design 
uh, uh, design a business plan and 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 look at the you know the the the, the growth forecast and, and 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 what we can do with the local area. And I know the local area because I'm from the local area. And I'll tell you what to do. Your investors coming in from not the local area, you don't know it, Philip Baird, but I do, and I'll tell you what they want. But at what point do you get a say when you jump halfway in? Mm-hmm. Unless you are, you know, I, 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 it just, you know, I don't doubt, I don't doubt for a second, he'll be getting something for it. Yeah. But would, the point I'm trying to say is, would he be getting, you know, or, 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 sorry, what I should say is, and I'll be very careful, what people are suggesting online is, is that's what swaying his opinion? Yeah. yeah. Is he being paid to say what he's got? You know. Well, he'll be, he'll be getting. He'll, he, I don't doubt for a second. I mean, I don't know what his role he is going to play. Is he coming on in a an official on on the consortium, or is he just backing the the plan? Mm-hmm. You know. I mean, it sounds to me in the statement that he 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 made. But let's go. Let's go back to that. Um, excuse me. Sorry. Um, PAI V nine PAI. Uh, they look desperate trying to tap up the fans. I agree. We've spoken at length. We've spoken at length about what's needed. And these discussions have included Rio, blah, 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 and the rest of the So it sounds like it, he's already part of this. We've spoken of length. You know, so it sound, It seems to me that he is, you know, um, he's not just backing it. He's in, involved. He's involved, yeah. He's involved. And WHU's made an interesting comment. Uh, good evening to you, mate. Uh, Tony Cotty has been talking about being part of the takeover for some time. That said, I just don't feel comfortable about it. But that's interesting because, Anton, you and I know that soon after he left Sky Sports, he was looking for work a lot closer to home, wasn't he? Uh, Which looks like it didn't materialise. And now this statement's come out. Um, So I I, I feel uncomfortable about it as well. It's it's a tough one. I think it's really tough, though. I think this is like a, you know, we it's tough because we're literally now looking at someone's integrity and what someone's what they're fit. No, no, I'm not saying we are, but I'm saying that this one's tough because you're talking about a club legend and we're trying to sit here and go, what's we're trying the to be, reason behind? We're, we're trying to be balanced is what we're trying yeah. to be. And we're trying not to say things out of line because it wouldn't be right for us to do so. But it, it does feel, the whole thing does feel a bit odd. So, and I and I like WHU feel a little bit uncomfortable about it. If PAI asked to sponsor WHM, would you take it? No. But still, the question is no. But this this is where the I, question, I mean the answer the, is no. No, but the if devil's felt, advocate. If, no, but wait, the devil's advocate to this, right? This is where I'll, I'll say it. At what point is it a yes? There's so, never so, a point. It's like I I work in the charity sector, okay, and we have uh, we have uh, standards as to who we accept money from. Uh, I used to work for a cancer charity. And guess what? Guess who used to try to sponsor cancer charities to research in cancer? Tobacco companies. Now, you draw a line at certain points and go, there's just no way I would ever take money off someone that is against all the principles that I, I hold. Yeah. And that should that should be the same for business. And that's why I said immediately to that, that question, the answer would be no. If you thought... Well, I mean- I mean, I can I can give a relatable one to the West Ham situation because on, yeah. when we first I, I, I met, hope you do. <laughs> well, when we ever first met, still about you know coming and getting involved in the channel, I told you at the time, and I don't even mind being transparent on here as well that we were approached by one of the Sullivan Sons to yeah, you promote, did tell me, yeah, to, yeah, to to promote to promote the club and promote a positive thing regarding the club. However. At the time, you know, I was running the channel myself. I had my own opinion. My own opinion wasn't great because I I felt the way I felt the first after the first summer finished from the move because we didn't get what we got from what we were promised from the first move. I, I, I was already there. I was already there back then. So I was like, well, no, because that means I'm selling my soul theory. And I... Well, it means get, you'll end up being controlled in what you can and can't say, which is yeah. not what this channel's about. And I and I and I kind of refused that. And I, I, listen, there was no talks of money. There was absolutely no talks of that. But there was maybe a form of I tell you what, I'll scratch your back if you scratch my back. You're a small YouTube channel who may or may not grow, who may mm-hmm. or may not mm-hmm. speak to thousands of people. But what I'm going to ask you to do is, if you do speak to thousands of people, I would like you to be reasonably positive regarding West Ham. Listen, yeah. we're not 
over the top positive, over the top negative. I'm probably more positive than I am negative. But that's because I'm a half glass full rather than half glass empty West Ham fan. So that's just the way I work. But um, I I kind of agree with the sentiment. I absolutely do. I, I agree. I agree with the sentiment, and I, I and I, and I am pretty. I am similar. I was just being a devil's advocate to go at what yeah, yeah, point. Yeah. At mm-hmm. what point? There is a point. I think. I think. Go, I, I, I think for me that there's always a point where you uh, where you'd say turn. It depends on how much you want to sell your soul, I guess. And I think there is a point where. Uh, you don't take money off people that you think a lot of people are saying it in the chat. You know, it's it's not a good, you know, it's not good for us. Um, Simon Jordan from Glenn said, you know, it's not the way you buy a football club. What could uh, be interesting, uh, though, is, you know, even if these people are making money from backing this, they may have saw things that we've not saw. Well, seen. this is the this is so the next thing I was going to go on, yeah. and and that's what I said in in Facebook tonight. I said, what is it that um, Tony Cotty has seen or heard? That we as fans haven't. Now, if they want to win us over, give us the give us the fine detail. Don't wash over. That, let's go on to the talk sport, the Philip Beard disaster, um, because he got ripped apart by um, by Simon Jordan. You know, and and there were certain things in the Philip Beard uh, interview, which um, you know the, the chap I mentioned earlier. We, you know, it's not Nigel. He kind of he he enlightened me. He said, "Listen to what Jordan was saying." about attracting you know it's not sustainable you know we need to attract more business more people to come and watch west ham now one of the big bugbears that we have at west ham united is a lot of people a lot of traditional fans saying it doesn't feel like west ham anymore because it's full of you know fans who aren't tourists you know people call them tourists and stuff like that okay. now if if this come if this company pai want to make us a, a a, a, you know, a, 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 a valued commodity. They're obviously talking about bringing even more people in at a higher price, because let's be honest, like it or not, we're, we've got one of the cheapest season tickets in the Premier League. And who's to say that they won't up that price? It might put a lot of traditional fans off. And then they say, right, well, we'll fill it with other people that can afford to bring it in. Now, one of the things that Nigel said to me that I didn't think about was they talking about making it uh, making the stadium more like a, like a stadium like a football stadium which we all want now if you bring the two tiers either side you know the billy bond stand and the west stand closer to the pitch what happens between the top tier and the bottom tier well that's the part that's in that that's the part that i've always felt was the was quite possibly more of a problem than the distance to the park because it right. just looks awful but what there. happens so basically like, that 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 becomes a bit that becomes bigger. It beca- the gap becomes bigger, and and the, the current but the current you, gap is awful as it yeah. as it what is. What do you what do you fill that gap with? I well, see. I don't know because when I done the stadium tour years ago, they were explaining, and as everyone knows, the the retractable seating company went into um, liquidation, so they couldn't finish the job. That's why we've got what looks like the um, like a building site, and that's right. why it takes so long to turn over the stadium from a football stadium to an event. But if they had right. the retractable seating... Focus on the be... gap. Focus on the gap. But what the, would but, you but do the, with The that purpose gap? of that gap is because I was on the understanding that if we had retractable seats, the gap wouldn't be as big. Right. How about filling the gap with more executive boxes that they could sell for a small fortune to people who won't be West Ham fans? Corporate boxes, you know. I mean, when I, when Nigel mentioned this to me, I went, "Shit, yeah." Well, that makes perfect sense. Yeah. You know, there you go, faux corporate boxes makes perfect sense. Or and even safe standing, like David says. <coughs> could be, but could, I know that's be, not. Could, I know I that's not more money. No, but I know that's I, not more money. I get that. It's a good point that Dave said. Yeah, but I don't think. I think what they would, what they've talked about is, is making it, uh, making it more. You know, they need they need to sort of break even. You know, the one thing that uh, Brady, I know we all hate Brady, but I'll give a credit where credit's due. That the, the contract, I know, I know, but the contract, well, hear me out, hear me out. The contract that she got for West Ham go, United. I'm leaving, I can't listen to him, sorry. <laughs> the, the contract that she got for West Ham United, basically, it doesn't matter who owns the stadium, doesn't matter who runs it, we can't be kicked out. The only way that uh, that contract will change in any way 
Um, I'm not convinced that PIO genuinely smells like I think Mayor Khan cooked up. Don't know, Khan, I don't know. But the only way that they can do anything to West Ham United as tenants, PAI Capital, is if they ran right, the yeah. stadium, ran the stadium and owned the club. Then they've got ownership of that contract. And then they can say that contract's no good. It's not, it, it doesn't benefit this company doesn't benefit us to keep you there as sitting tenants. Maybe West Ham United, might, you might be better off going and ground sharing somewhere. Go, go, go in Orient. What was the statement they made? What was the statement they made about uh, about West Ham, about the bowling? Fucking insult. They couldn't even fill the bowling. You know, so we need to find, find a way of filling the London Stadium. Well, we did fill the bowling, you know, and, and, and the diehards were going there when we were in the, in the championship. And watching the team, you know, but I, you know, I don't remember it being that empty when we were in the in the Premier League. Correct me if I'm wrong. And uh, we now we're filling. We are filling the the, uh, the London Stadium. If they want more people in, if they want more people in the stadium, it's more people that aren't going to be West Ham fans. That's the bottom line because they need to make money. And it was a it was a bit of a, you know, I, I was like, yeah, yeah, Nigel's right. Nigel's absolutely right. Uh, you're going through them too fast. So I don't know what people no, are thinking. There's, no, but there's, some of the comments are just like statements. There's no questions. So I'm, putting, <laughs> okay. I'm throwing up the statements. Um, uh, let's have a look at a few statements. Uh, Happy Hammer. Do you think PAI realised they fucked up with Rio, so they went and got a fan favourite? Good, good shout. Yeah, good but shout. the thing is, though, like, you know, we, we, we're basing this on, like, you know, I had the discussion with my dad regarding the Rio and Anton thing and the situation came out of it like this so my dad's not active on social media he'll watch us on the shows but he's not active on social media so my dad wasn't really aware of he was slightly aware of the situation that Rio said about Declan um but my dad read between the lines with that and realized well I I, I, I mean it, football's a business now it's a business world and all that sort of stuff and I get it but I don't doubt for, I still don't care I, I kind of maybe I'm throwing myself under the bus here but I I do think that Real does have a genuine care for West Ham because if it's in your blood, it doesn't matter if you have transferred your blood because you've played for a club for 10 years, but it's in your blood, mate. It's in your blood. How can you get rid of that? He loved the club from a boy up to the age or whatever it was, and he went away. So I I, I don't doubt for a second. I think it's a silly comment when people say that, but it's your choice. It's your opinion. You're allowed to do that. Um, that when people say he's not West Ham at all, I do think he is West Ham. I do think there's an element. Of course I do. You know, he loved the club as a kid. Yeah. So, yeah. I, I, w w whether he they fucked up, I think they fucked up on a lot more things than that. And if they want the fans to fully back them, I think the fans want full blown transparency because we've been I think, there before. And now. I, I think that's what's missing. They need to come out and be really open and say what their business plans are. It's an interesting point from Daniel. Last week, uh, Cotty was on X's podcast, spoke well in terms of what he hoped from a takeover, but he knew little about PAI at the time. Wonder See, the if thing, he was the, approached after that. The thing, though, Daniel, I could I would suggest with that is that he may have known, but couldn't have said something. So it's about knowing that it's about knowing the the, the full facts on it. So he may have spoken, he may have been told to speak it down until things were. Deal. Maybe he was talking. Maybe he was understanding the trying to understand the, the business plan and and all that sort of stuff. What you wouldn't want to hear is Tony was approached on the Monday and on the Tuesday he signed up to the, the whole yeah, yeah. thing. You would you would hope it would have taken a week or so to digress the whole situation. Steve's comment here. I hope the PAI pressure forces GSB to to give Moyes the money uh, to buy whoever he wants. Well, Moyes. I hate to tell, break this to you, Steve, and I know people don't believe it when I when when I say it, but there is money in 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 the kitty. Yeah, not as much as we'd like, no, but there is money, and uh, and the interesting thing about PAI is again, look at the comments that be made that were repeated by Philip Beard on the talks on Talk Sport when asked about you know building the team and you know uh, money money for the club etc. He was very careful to say the same thing as was in the PAI statement a few days back. Depends on how much we have to pay for the club, which tells me straight away that PAI aren't going to have a bottomless bottomless pit of money either. You know, that, that they are also going to be restricted in their funds. Let's not forget, we still don't know who is backing this PAI takeover bid. 
because they haven't come out and said this is the owner's pocket or this is the investor's pocket. And it sounds to me it's the investors, but it's investors in PAI capital that are backing this. And if you're in, an investor for something, you're going to want to return on your on your investment at some point. Now, Simon Jordan said about, you know, you know, running a football club doesn't make you money. You said it on, on Talk Sport on Monday. It doesn't make you money. It's a, it is it, like you throw, keep throwing money at money and money. I'm not trying to, you know, sort of back GSB in any way. Don't get me wrong. But the point is, PAI Capital, not only are you going to have to pay to run the stadium, whatever that deal is going to be, they're then going to have to pay to buy the club. And then they're going to put transfer money in. And if that doesn't work, then they're going to have to put more transfer money in. And when does it stop? When the investors go, we don't want to give you any more money. Fuck that. You know, you're not in Champions League after two years or whatever. That means there's no bottomless pit of money from PAI. But GSB do spend money. You know, unfortunately, they just spend it in a very shit way, which is why David Moyes said at the end of the season, like, the whole scouting network, the whole way we buy players needs to be changed completely. He said it himself. It was rotten to the core. You know, and 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 what Moyes is now doing, it's really ironic. This should have been done years ago. Should have been done years ago, the way we, we buy and sell players. You know, what Moyes is now doing, he, it's the start of a new era. Because Moyes has managed to get his way in getting a scouting system in. Head of recruitment starting. All right. We're fucked because he ain't starting until the transfer window shuts. But nonetheless, we've got a head of recruitment starting. We've got uh, Moise's son, who's one of the scouts, etc. He's overhauling the whole way that we're managing the way we buy and sell players. It should have been done five, six years ago. Should have been done. And that's why, unfortunately, it's a myth that GSB don't spend money. They do. It's just that Sullivan... Has been such a, you know, he thinks he's he thinks he's going, you know, a wheeler dealer and going out and buying players the way he's done. Now Sullivan is taking a backseat and gone. Fair enough. You don't want me to go and buy players. It's down to Moyes. So hmm. I don't think it's going to force their hand in any way because the money apparently is already there. But that's not me back in GSB. Sorry, mate. Gone. What I would find interesting. Now, and I think I'm going to bring up the point here that Richard said is, and I don't know if Richard, you're saying that because you think it's going to happen or you suspect or jesting about maybe it, but oh, if other, but, oh, no, but, not just, but not just Fat Frank, but maybe if other ex Well, I think start, he was alluding to him taking over as manager or not. But, but well, that, that's but, the way I just read that. Well, no, no, no. I think no? what he's meaning is, you know, Get, getting ex players involved. Oh, getting the ones you've that... got Anton, you've got Frank potentially, potentially Frank Lampard. You know, if, if 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 they started basically going to recruit all of these players, it would get to that point where they would start probably turning the fan base because it would be they have this whole squad of players that people love backing this plan. You know, it's interesting. Has anyone ever looked at the PAI Capital mission statement? No. So the mission statement is PAI Capital's objective is to create significant value for investors and portfolio companies by investing in and actively managing high quality growth businesses where it's capital, strategic insight, technological um, expertise, global network and operational support can drive transformation and expansion. But they're key, they constantly talk about earning earning money which is what any business it's a business it's a, everyone Investment every owner business. now this is the thing yeah. every owner is in that in that world so you know i would be intrigued some of the comments that baird said on talk sport when he talked about the valuation of the club we believe it's a fair valuation of the club however depending on that valuation would depend on the amount of money that would be invested into the squad into squad yeah that's a concerning statement for me, but not massive concern. But 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 why would you, if you want to win the fans over, are you trying to state that the owners are greedy? Because we already know that we don't need to yeah. be told that it's something that we don't know. So if this is but, your roundabout way, of that, it's it's fan. Pre it, it, they're putting you know it, it's it's pressure through the fans, you know, so that there would be more demonstrate. We know this demonstration happening at the Man United game uh, in September. You know, they just want to they just want to stoke stoke the fire in order for that demonstration to be like, you know, massive. And I'm worried now. You know, I, I, I know Hammers United say, you know, it's not about 
It's not about that, the, the, you know, affecting the team. It's about the board and all that sort of stuff. And I understand all that because I'm going to come to the point that Chris has made here in a minute. Um, but it, it will. It, I don't care what people say. I think at one point, sooner or later, it will affect the players. It's my thought. But Chris, this is a good point. If PAI guarantee that supporters have a place on the board, blah, 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 etc. Guess what, mate? We've got a place on the board. Well, not on the board, but, you know, through the Independent Supporters Committee, Hammers United are on that committee and they sit and talk to the board about issues that affect fans. You know, you've got uh, the uh, West Ham United Supporters Club, which we've got a, a big shout out to, by the way. If you haven't yet subscribed uh, and become a member of West Ham United Supporters Club, please do. WHUSC.com, I think it is. Have you got it? it? We can get, get it. it. Okay. Um, and so, Chris, we, we Hammers United have actually got themselves in a position, along with other fan groups like uh, Supporters Club, BAME. I know they've been recalled, uh, renamed now. I can't remember what it is. Uh, Pride of Irons and, and various other support groups. They're now all part of the ISC, the Independent Supporters Committee, who sit and discuss issues with the board. So we're there. We're kind of there. You know, so everything that PAI are, are, are kind of suggesting, it's all stuff that's already in place. It's stuff that's already happening. You know, changing the, the, the stadium. You know, the, the, the club have, have started that, you know, by having the, the, the Bobby Moore lower and the Trevor Booking lower. You know, that, that, that scene's changed. Now they're talking about the, the size as well, the Billy Bond stand, et cetera. So everything that PAI are talking about, it's stuff that's already in motion. And that is because of the likes of Hammers United and all the other members of the ISC, you know, and, uh, you know, the ISC have talked about bringing, um, you know, those who had, uh, there you go. Thank you. So if you join, is that the right thing? That doesn't look right, mate. I've actually clicked the link that, you, what, so there's a, if you actually click that link, that takes you to the part where it says join. Okay, I cool. give them cool. the link to the website. No, 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 that's that's fine. So there is. Join the supporters club. Um, now, you know, the ISC are talking about bringing, you know, people who had um, uh, who were trading around uh, the streets of Green Street, etc. They're talking about trying to bring them uh, around the stadium. So all the stuff that PAI might want to promise you, ironically, is already, hap you know, there are already discussions happening uh, for, 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 for all these things. So I've not seen PAI giving me something as a fan to go, fucking hell, you know what? I like that. I haven't heard anything. Can I Michael be honest Dean, with you, though, still? Yeah, go um, on, mate, go on. Do you know the time I would have looked at that deal, the deal right now, and gone, I'm, I'm buzzing about this deal? Genuinely, I'm being truthful is when I was 16. And I'm not saying that but if anyone who's older than me and, and wiser than me would have would um, has done it means that they're they're thinking in that way. I'm telling you how my mindset's changed. My <laughs> mindset would be if if I wasn't happy with the board, which I've not been happy for a long time, um, and this offer had come in, I would be going to school, talking to my friends, going, ah, we're about to get taken over and things are going to be great." Yeah. But as a West Ham it. young lad, I've realised that that does never turn out to be true yeah. <laughs> <laughs> with the two takeovers we've had so far yeah. in my life. Michael D, I'm sorry, but as a fan, I find it insulting. Cotty, Rio and Anton. Uh, Anton, what are you doing on uh, back in PAI? Uh, but no thanks. I'll wait till Noble Bonds and Brooklyn are on board. Good, it's all good, about good the chat. money, money. Gary, you can't want GSB to stay ruining the club. No, I'm not saying that at all. You know, I'm not by. And this is and I think this is the dilemma a lot of fans are, are going to be in now, because if. I think what's going through a lot of fans' minds is, if I don't back PAI, does that mean I'm GSB in? No, it doesn't mean that at all. It doesn't mean that at all. Um, to, answer, PAI, I mean, Harry, to answer the question, for me, I've stated where I'm at and always at for such a long time. I don't like our board, but I, with my opinion, would not be willing to just sell to anybody just to get that board out. So I am not a fan of the board. Haven't been since season one at the new stadium. Since since the summer transfer deadline day ended, and we ended up with Zaza. That was me. That was I was done. That was I, I tapped out. I was already like nearly tapping out, but I tapped out at that moment. 
but yep. not to the detriment of just accepting anyone. It's a bit like what we're doing with transfers just now. I won't accept seven signings. I won't even accept one forty-five million pound striker because that's not how we work anymore. Mm, it's about trusting the it, yeah. it's, it's the quality over quantity, and yeah. and I feel the exact same way with regards to the ownership. It needs to be the right ownership. We'll never know. We'll probably get new owners still when the board eventually do go, and we'll probably end up hating them as well because that's just <laughs> that's the West what I said. That's, that's what I said. Way. And our dear friend Luke sent me this earlier on. Uh, whilst the show's on, <laughs> I see that. Yeah, <laughs> it does. I see that. Uh, WHU. I wonder if Cotty's passion for West Ham is making him blind to the facts of what's really going on with PI. That's a really good comment. Really good comment. Dan, hello, mate. I hope you're well. Um, I didn't know that was our Dan the other day. Yeah, that's um, too, yeah. yeah. The fans laughed at Ferdinand's getting involved, and all of a sudden, Cotty's rolled out. Yeah, you got it. It feels. They think that they're, 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 it's a wise move, don't they? Don't they? Whereas we're kind of thinking it's not so much a wise move. It feels I, I don't want to say it's a desperate move, but it kind of smacks a little bit of that, doesn't it? Yeah, it, 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 yeah, I think it does. Yeah, it, it it just doesn't it just doesn't rest easy with me, to be honest. The whole thing doesn't. Helen, we know that GSB won't sell until 2023. Well, that's another factor. You know, we keep hearing about, you know, I got my f- figures wrong the other the other week. So my understanding is it's, uh, and thanks for Dave Trevitt for putting me right. Uh, they would pay, if they sold it any, any time between now and 2023, uh, anything over 200 million, they'll pay 20% tax on. You know, they're not going to, they're not going to want to pay that. So they might as well hang on another couple of years. And then they might go, fuck it, I don't care. Will sell, you know. There's no, there's no saying that they won't sell West Ham United after 2023 when they don't have to pay any tax on the, on on any part of what they sell them for, uh, sell the club yeah. for. Um, so that's a really good point. Um, David M is West Ham waiting for the government to say we'll let you have to stay in for this amount. Well, that's another interesting, David. You know, uh, Anton, when you did the show a few we- a week or so ago, when you put up the statement from the LLDC, you know, saying, oh, we've made agreed in principle with PAI Capital for them to run the stadium, et cetera. And then they said in that statement, but of course, I don't know what the exact wording was, but of course, um, uh, anyone's uh, welcome to run the stadium, including West Ham United. So it's still open. But the thing is, David, West Ham United don't want to run the stadium because it's running at a loss. Why would they want to do that? We're paying, what, three million now a a year or whatever it is we're paying in rent. Why would you even want to... Why would you want to take on a stadium that's losing money hand over fist? So yeah. it's uh, unless I'm mistaken, or maybe that is what West Ham are waiting for. Are West Ham waiting for uh, the government to give them the stadium for for uh, peanuts? I think they would. They would. They would. They would hope. I, still, I don't doubt for a second that this it, we, we, any business that's got an aging ownership is looking at what the next step is. It's it's an actual it's an actual fact. What the worry for me would be is is the next step handed over to the Suns, which I don't want. Mm-hmm, I mm-hmm. don't want that. I'm sorry. It literally, I I absolutely do not want that. So this board will well, go. He's managed. The, he's managed the women's team. Yeah, but 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 the, but, <laughs> I know, but nothing, <laughs> no, but yeah, you know, but I, I, listen, there's nothing. Is, wrong that, with is that. that a taste? Is that a taste? No, but there's nothing wrong with that. I think that's good. I think that's a good thing. That's you know, but I'm no, being, I'm being is, facetious. I'm I know you facetious. are, but but in actual fact, realistically, it is a good thing. You want if you are if you look back, if if he grows up and he's 50 years old or, or 70 like you, and he looks back at his career at the age of 20 or whatever age he was, he was the chief exec of a women's football team in yeah, the Premier yeah. League mm-hmm. of women and and actually did all right and and raised the profile of the club as much as I wasn't a fan of how he conducted himself. So in theory, what they're doing with him works, but he is by far not the guy because he's not got the investment, he's not got the money, yeah. Um, yeah. all that sort of stuff. So I don't understand the whole passing to the boys. That's not for me. I don't doubt yeah. for a second this board's going to leave. It's just when they leave and who's going to come in for yeah. them. I want to address Pat's uh, comment here because I'll tell you something, Pat. You're probably right about reducing capacity, but, mate, if they reduce capacity for a seat that's worth, I don't know, uh, what, whatever the highest season ticket value is, what what is the highest? Is it 1,200 or something like that? Something or, like that wh- whatever it is, yeah. it is. If they reduce the capacity of that and replace it with corporate boxes, mate, they're not going to give a shit. 
that it's reduced capacity. They probably rather have, it's what, 60,000 now. I think it's going to go up to, it's got the potential of going up to 66,000. Maybe they'll reduce it to 58,000, put a whole load of corporate boxes in. They're going to sell for much, much more than those seats that they're going to lose. So you're probably right about reducing capacity. Absolutely. But I don't think they'll give a damn. What a good idea. Simple, isn't it? Um, we're, well, hold on a minute. There was a comment there. Oh, sorry, mate. Are you getting the finance guy on, lads? Well, I'll tell you what. We need to get someone on. <laughs> you mean Sean? <laughs> we're not having Sean come and do that PowerPoint presentation. Death by PowerPoint, <laughs> Dave. Um, we've done a couple of shows, and even I was on it, and I was like, <laughs> you, lo- you loved it. You loved it. <laughs> oh, shit. I still tapped out one of them once and left me an elf to do it, and I was like, oh, my word. I did. I did. Oh, man. <laughs> Honestly. Uh Dynamite, don't forget our present owners stabbed us in the back with their bullshit empty promises. Absolutely. Snakes for... Absolutely. Don't dis don't disagree with that one but bit. Dynamite, but... the, po- the point I'll make it uh, sorry, still go, 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 go. No, go. no, no, no. You go on, go on, go on. The the, the, the point the, the argument I'm not arguing for that. And please understand this, Dynamite. But the argument is things right now seem to be on the up on the field which is the thing that makes us the happiest right now. It makes mm-hmm. us the happiest. We, you know, the Upton Park's gone and all the surrounding area's gone. It's not nice. It's a hard feeling and, and, and it still hurts everyone to the same level as it does every single one of them. Probably more so people who have lost their businesses and their livelihoods through it. But but the thing is, though, still, like, yes, I get it. I, 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 I absolutely get it. But, you know, things right now, what, what, would, a, what would a change of ownership do to the club? Would that unsettle well, things? Would that? It's all down to, as you just alluded to, if it's the right change of ownership, yeah, fantastic. But uh, you know, I, I want to pick up on what you know, about the empty promises. My my concern with PAI is that they're making the same empty promises as the board did. The only difference is what this board had done rather than anyone else w- w- won't ever be able to do again is that they moved us from the bowling you know, with the empty promises. They moved us from the bowling, you know, in order for a better future, a brighter future. We fell for it. We all fell for it. Um, there's no reason, that, there's nothing to suggest that these PAI, uh, that, it, it feels to me that, that it feels like um, Groundhog Day, you know, because I now, everything that PAI is saying now, I remember six years ago, seven years ago, when they were selling me the new stadium, when they were saying Champions League, going to do this, we're going to do that, we're going to do this, blah, 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 blah. And I was going starry-eyed. And I'm an old man. And I was going, fuck, yeah. You know, it's uh, abs- absolutely. It and makes you perfect sense. Season ticket, you were sold. I was excited. I, I couldn't when you went wait in and sat to down. get down there. Yeah. When, you, when was, you went in and sat down in that little office. Excited. They had it strapped excited. Yeah. 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 No wonder. Excited. You, you were totally... I remember, honestly, that was the same as you. Everyone was. You were looking at that video and it was like, oh, my yeah. word. Oh, my like, word. Oh, Where my... are we heading towards? Yeah. And the problem with, with PAI is that they, they're making the same empty promises. as that. What gets me is the, the thing that sticks in my, in my mind more than anything else that they've said is about the investment. Is about, it depends on how much we buy the club. You know, as if like, oh, these owners, they're going to make us spend a fortune on the club and we won't have any money to buy any players. Sorry, people. Well, fuck that. If you want to buy the club and you actually want to invest in players, it matters not how much you pay for the club. If you've got a bottomless pit of money, you 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 start buying players and you continue to do so until we become successful. And unfortunately, PAI won't do that because as we as we've said, they've got investors to worry about. You know, that's the problem. They've got investors to worry about, and there'll come a point where they will not be able to spend the money because the investors will go fuck you we've spent enough money we want a return on our capital how are you going to get a return on our capital you know and what are they going to do then are they going to what are they going to sell the club are they going to what are they going to do they're going to sell all our best players Declan will go in a heartbeat sorry people our investors want their money back we've got to get rid of Declan oh and we'll just get rid of everyone else that, that that's here at the moment but don't worry we'll invest we'll buy a five million pound player to replace Declan is what they'll do. So you're right, Dynamite. You know, the current owners have made empty promises. But unfortunately, PAI look like they're making the same empty promises, I'm afraid. You know what would be, you know, for everyone that's watching, what would be quite funny is see if this time tomorrow you see Stell in the West Ham Network going, 
join PAI. They'd be a great <laughs> best. <laughs> so, PAI are going to be a good takeover for West Ham, and now officially the West Ham, um, the West Ham Networks partners. Still, Dave Banner's on. Good he evening was, to you. He, are you he, still watching? Are you his friends? He's not. I don't friends. know. Should we bring him on? <laughs> Should yeah, we bring we'll him say, on? Yeah. How do we how do we do that? Yeah, but I'm not gonna put I'm not because I don't want fifty I know million people. Here we go again. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, so Daya, I don't know how to do it, mate. So uh because unlike you, you we're don't. not quite we're, we're not quite as open minded as you where you put your link in in the chat. So um uh I don't know. Uh how would he how uh, have you got he just his... needs to send us the email address and we'll send him the link. Okay, well put the email up and Daya, if you're watching. Respond to the email address and we'll send you a link. How about that? And then I'll leave you with Anton. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, oh, what, what, was it, what was he saying? Uh, PAI trying to create a hostile takeover. Simple as that. Hence why it's being played out unprofessionally. In the, I, I agree. Totally agree. Yeah. WMP uh, feels like uh, PAI has spiked our drinks in a club and is asking us to go home with them. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Listen, I want to. There's a comment just come up here, and I know you're going go from the top, which kind of yeah, yeah. Go on, no, you go from, from the bottom. I'm going. Go on. So yeah. da Dan, our, our Dan, um, has said, I don't want bottoms pit of money and win stuff off the back of that. I want a decent academy and homegrown players. Not 100 million pounds. Don't give two shits about the club. But, but, good point. But, and what have we it, just done? No, but what we but apart it, from today's result, let me, let where we got smashed by Brian. Still, um, mate, still. What? Come on. What? If we were in the same boat as Man City, are you joking me? What? Uh, I mean, we come on! Buzzing with life. What, what? What? Fucking spending our way to winning trophies? Fuck off! Are you serious? Oh yeah, yeah. Is that what people want? Is that what people want? Is that what people? Is that what you want us to become? Want to win some Do you shit. want to? Well, I, you know, we're West Ham United. We win a trophy once every 10, 15, 20 years. You know, we get in the top yeah, six once lifetime, every 40 years. About 40, you know? 50, 50 years ago. Yeah. But, you know, do we really want to become that club? No, I'm Seriously. Not saying, I'm just saying invest. Do we? I'm not saying that shitloads of investment would be, would be, you know, would turn us around. Well, well, do you know what? It probably would turn us around. But who's going to be out there to... Um, to 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 do it, you know, who's going to be out there? Wow, to actually... a very very rich um um Arab, Supreme. you know, is what will be. <laughs> uh, Dyer, divide and conquer. Um, Cotty has lost his job for nearly twenty years. Being I'm paid. sorry, oh. should have done that. Sorry. Go on, go on, put it back, put it back. Oh, so funny. Can you imagine still as the spokesman for PAI next week on West Ham Network? I'm seriously getting one. <laughs> Good evening. Support PAI. It's good for you. They'll do very well at West Ham. Oh, Come on, West Ham FC. <laughs> <laughs> God. Put um the put the uh, email up so Dyer can message us. Why has he said that? Well, I don't know. I've not got to the bottom of the chat, mate. You're at the bottom no, of the chat. I'm at I the don't top. Think he's there. Is he not there? Okay, well then don't do. It. Uh, well, put it up anyway. You never know. You might get someone emailing us. Uh, Claret and booze. Good evening to you. Circling Still, light bulbs. Hold on what? a second. Am I your bitch? Well, yeah, you are. <laughs> uh, circling light vultures. PAI. Sorry, fuck him. Anyway, I'm here. Anton, West Ham Late Late Show. <laughs> um, circling light vultures. PAI need one thing and one thing only for West Ham to start losing. Their PR position weakens with every win. Really good shout there. Really, really good shout. Yeah. Uh, and and well, let's not talk about my. When when are you doing the preview? Tomorrow or Sunday? Uh, Sunday evening. Sunday. Hammerwell. The end of the day, it's it's only the brand we've got left at the moment. The club was sold when we moved. In my opinion, investment groups is going to be the future of football. Unfortunately, do you really think that Hammerwell? I I I don't know. I because if investment groups get involved in football, they're going to want to return on their investment, and you do not make money out of football. You know, um, Daniel. Fair point, Anton. A Daniel, you'll learn as you go along that Anton never makes any fair points. No, I, 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 I believe but... I did. <laughs> it's just the fact that you um, are one hour behind in the comments. So we have no idea what he's Boy, actually talking hour. about. Yeah. 
Dyer, if you if you have a large investment to buy a football club, you contact the owners. Then the next step is to show proof of funds and then enter an NDA. So this is the point. You talked about it before we went online. Um, you know, West Ham are saying there's no proof of funds and they're saying there is proof of funds. So we, we don't know where we're at with this. You know, uh, Philip Beard has said all re- again uh, in the talk sport show that uh, they did show proof of funds. But if they did, why are West Ham, why why is Sullivan and Gold, this time tomorrow still will be the CEO? <laughs> it's all about the money, money, money. Only the money. Show me the money. Um, what was I going to say? Uh, I've gone. Doesn't matter. Oh, anyway, we'll move that. on to the next one. <laughs> Good evening, Mr. Uh, um, Mr. Bond. Uh, he knows what we mean. Uh, for me, PAI just haven't been transparent enough. We've been drip fed information to this point. None of it's going to excite any of us to make us feel that they would be any better than GSB. Agreed? Agreed. Um, Daniela, so was I. Uh, so I. So I was still on this and us fans need to chill out a bit and give some time to the transfer, get the transfer. So we're talking about the, 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 you know, we are building for the future, aren't we? David Moyes has gone out and spent a little bit of money on, what was it, four or five players? And people were going, why are you spending money on the youth when we need, you know, to spend money on uh, senior players? But that's, he's, he's starting, isn't he? He's looking yeah. at building for the future. Uh, I'm going to scroll right down. There's quite a lot of comments, so I'm going to try and catch up. I'm, uh, that was at 11.54 and it's now, and it's now 12.15. So let's do uh, Clive. I'm not convinced that any of the players connected with PAI have the club at heart. If Jeff Hurst or Trevor Brooking were behind it, I might have more confidence. TC has just seen the money. Good point. Do you think... <laughs> That's the best time tomorrow. They will be behind it. <laughs> <laughs> Well, look, so look, there's there must be a reason why Trevor Brooking, uh, is, is he on the board or he, he he's he's part of the board, isn't he? In some way, I mean, he's yeah. always in the he's always in the in the maybe uh, he's just this legendary status, me to be honest. Is that the only reason? So, does he have any an ambassador? Anything? Is he an ambassador? Is an ambassador for the club, but yeah, if if he you know if he thought things were wrong, would would he would he continue to be an ambassador? Would he not jump ship? And go and and go and support PAI as well. Uh, I don't know, mate. I really don't know. It's it's. Sorry, I'm just looking up something while you're doing that. That's why you I'm... do that. You just let me carry on on my own. No, I am actually oh, just well. looking up something. PAI uh, breaking news. PAI are in talks with Defoe about being the next big figurehead. Still, after that Tokyo was a, that was that was 45 minutes ago. That comment no, was put up. No, it, it really 11, was 11:55. It was 20 minutes ago, mate. You know, if you, don't, so. if you don't make, if you don't, you know, look at the comments that people made, people are going to think that I'm igno- we're ignoring. Stel, you're on mute, mate. Yeah, you are. I'm not now. <laughs> you bastard. Stop it, mate. That weren't me. That weren't me. Wanker is such a dick. Um, uh, Aked Barley, Aked Barley, I like that name. Listening to the concerns of the fans, but appearing not to act upon them, like the stadium issue, leads to the unrest. Do you think the? Uh, see, this is again, again. I don't want to sound like I'm back in the board in any way, but anyway. this, this is the whole idea of uh, the Independent Supporters Committee. The Independent Supporters Committee get together with the board and 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 share their concerns that fans are telling them. So you've got. West Ham United Supporters Club, you've got Hammers United, you've got Pride of Irons and all these other groups that are getting together and they're talking to the board about their concerns. Concerns about West Ham, the stadium not being enough West, you know, West Ham enough. And apparently we've been told, get ready for uh, uh, when you go to the stadium because it's going to be all about Mark Noble. It's, it's going to be plastered with because it's Mark Noble's last season. Um, you know, they are... <laughs> I'm not, and you know it, Dave. Um, you know, but, uh, and they're talking about, you know, traders, you know, coming, you know, trying to get traders uh, to, to to come closer to the stadium, et cetera. So I kind of think that they are beginning to listen. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Do you, do you think they should be doing more, Anton? Who? The board, the current board. Yeah, I th- I, of course I do. I do. Oh, of course I do. Yeah, I do think. I think they need to bridge the gap if they've got any form of 
care about the fans, they need to bridge the gap of communication um, and they need to take a leaf out of other board's books. We asked, I remember a while ago still, we asked for some transparency and some, you know, like communication from the board and they put a statement out on the website after getting rid of David Moyes the first time and brought Pellegrini in and said that it would be serious investment. Now that's fine. That's fine that they did that. And I fell for that again when they brought in Hilaire and Anderson, etc. But what you then realised was it was just everything was done to appease the fans. It yeah. wasn't done the right way. It wasn't the right decision. That's why they went back to Moyes and realised, you know what, we were onto something good. So we probably should have stuck with you, but that's the problem because because they made that mistake, mm-hmm. and and it the highlighted it another now. and the pain for it now, and that's what's mm-hmm. made, you know that's what's highlighted it again. So I do think there's so much they could do. I don't know why they it's don't more actually, structured footballing wise. Well, I don't know why they just don't. Maybe it's not about coming onto our channels, just going out on the actual website and taking a and and, and taking a serious, genuine forum genuine questions well there's one there's a question coming up about that but i want to address this first Eamon, being uh disingenuous there still not everyone fell for it and not everybody wanted the move i still remember the process of the move well interestingly i kind of do and i've got to be honest and and uh nigel nigel khan was one of the you know one of the guys that was really pushing well before we moved about you know you know about not moving and I remember we've spoken to Nigel a lot about this. And I remember him saying that the, the voice of not moving was very small back then. You know, it was only since the move that, that, that you know, the, the voice of like, you know, but, the unhappiness. Go on. But, go on. but you know, so the, the, the situation, you're right, Nigel was a minority. By the way, I'm not bored. I was trying to find something on my other screen in case you thought I was bored. This is someone in the comment. I'm not. I'm just trying to find something, but I can't find it. So anyway, um, but Nigel was a re- like was a like a really like like a tiny minority of people who were canvassing against the move. Mm-hmm. I've said it several times to him off screen. I've, I don't even know if I've said it to him on screen. I said if I if I had maybe even heard a tiny murmur of what nigel had said i may have of switched quicker and then that momentum may have picked up but it never got to people like me and it mm-hmm. never got to people like you still it never got to no. a lot of people a lot of fans yeah. so mm-hmm. you know we turned up to that game at the, the the last upton park mixed emotions but not motions that were screw you for taking us away from our home no we were looking forward to the future yeah, yeah. He's, and he's in he's in Nigel's in. Oh, is he back from his night out? Come on, Nigel. Come on, mate. We'll, we'll, you can have a little chat if you're not too pissed. Uh, Steve Hill, West Ham fans will love a proper Q&A with PAI to ask proper questions. Do you think that is honestly going to happen? Do you think no. honestly? No, because they're, because they're not going to answer the questions. We all know that. And I don't know what stage that they would answer the questions, but they're never going to answer the questions of the fan base because the fan base will always ask questions that they can't answer because you know they, they run they run in this politics manner that's people how that's how business owners run businesses they're never going to give away their full hand they're they're never going to be fully transparent and, and and something that west ham fans in my opinion will struggle struggle to accept is lack of transparency and 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 that's what these guys are currently doing i don't know how much information i would accept but you know Proof of fun. <laughs> Anton's watching Mia Khalifa on the other screen. <laughs> it's a fact she's a hammer, but I like she's like up to Arsenal. <laughs> Actually, just reminds me of uh, it. Reminds me of still supporting another club. Uh, David wow. Trevitt saying wow. Nigel N. Um, Happy Hammer is saying I fell for these lies, hook, line, and sinker. But if we get Champions League in the next two three years, is that not what they promised us? Just playing devil's advocate. Yeah. But they promised it earlier, but it's not that is the issue. It's the, the issue of the consistency in the problems that there is surrounding our club. And those consistencies have never really gone away and they're still here. But it's not just all about, I'm not sitting here going, oh, GSP out and I'm, I'm not going to march. I have no interest in doing a march or anything like that. But um, Nigel won't be, no, because he's, he's, he's out on the town. He keeps sending me these, you know, uh, photos that I can't share. <laughs> uh, Anthony, Stella, we're not more forward. A good management team. Uh, um, 
a very good first team, six in the league, nearly fourth. Yes, I, I 100% agree, Anthony. But a lot of people are still not happy with that. You know, I think because a lot of people, I think what a lot of people are thinking is they don't want it to be, but they feel it might be a one season wonder what we did last season. I think, I think we, I think we are. I think there is a new era happening under Moyes. And I never thought I'd even hear myself say that, you know, because I wasn't a fan of Moyes coming back. I know you weren't, Anton, you know, and um, and I think he's proven us all wrong, you yes, know, in the way fun. he's gone. No, you go finish. Well, in the way he's managed the team, in the way he's uh, brought players in, someone listed all the players that he's brought in in this second <laughs> second state, uh, second um, term. And... Uh, if I was written on by West Ham, let's still have to manage it. But give and on the table. <laughs> <laughs> hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. <laughs> um, no problem. <laughs> what are you talking about still? Well, where it's too far for you, isn't it? Um, you march on your own manner as a statement. Absolutely. <laughs> to be fair, no one could get beside me because I'm too big. So. Um, uh, so, yeah, we are more forward. I, I totally agree, Anthony. Definitely. Let's scroll down. Who else have we got? Oh, sorry, Matt. What was that? Put that one back up. <laughs> Bastard. <laughs> He's winding me up. Dan, go and ban him. Go on, mate. Uh, Dan's on that particular group. Well. Um, still, you know, we could go on all night about PAI. I believe we will probably do several more videos in PAI. I, I hope not. This is going to be, I, no, but I don't think, I, I don't think this is going to be the last of it because I think that tomorrow we'll be talking about bloody Biafra Saka signing with PAI and then the next day is going to be Stelios Kyriakos joining them and all that sort of stuff. But there is more news, is there not? Are we going to talk about that or... Shall we Go talk on, about man. that? What, what are we going to talk about? No, I thought you had you you you'd mentioned you were going to mention the Lingards. Do oh. you want to discuss Lingards? Oh. Do we want to depress people even more? <laughs> Is it depressing? Uh, well, you know, the, the the longer it takes for us to uh, the longer it takes for us to to sign a player, the more apprehensive. The more the, I leave you. <laughs> Ross, you're on holiday. You're on holiday, mate. Go on. Go and enjoy it. Don't do a stale. Don't do a stale. Don't bring me on your holiday. I know he's so um, so I, I just... I, look, Moyes has said quite... A, again, he said, I want to bring players in for competition and blah, 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 blah. What the fuck what is that? going on? Blah, 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 blah. You know, there was quite a lot of blah, blah, blahs there. Yeah, I'd like what to do that is again, going I on? I mean, people are blaming the board. And, and and some people are blaming Moyes. And I think it's a combination of both. <laughs> I haven't got a wallet fat enough, Dave, uh, for the money that they've given me to support no, PAI. Trust me, he, he, he does not have a wallet fat Here enough. We go. He never buys a drink. Never Here we go. Yeah, shut up, Anton. For a Scott to say do something. What? The actual, do you know what? The more I think about it, you probably are one of the investors because you've probably got shitloads of money because you never put your hand in the pocket and buy it. Well, I actually do. So, I do actually what? do. I, you, you know, know so probably, you only have to probably, talk. You, but you only have to talk to my real friends to find out that I actually you're do. You're probably one in of the investors still. I keep telling you I don't buy you drinks. <laughs> I keep telling you that. Listen, he's you're trying not... to hurt my feelings. He doesn't want well, to. Well, I do. His but the thing is, I do. Want to I know hurt, you get He doesn't hurt want to admit it. his friends with a 30 You'll be drinking your own tears from the pain that you feel. <laughs> <laughs> but listen, yes, he is a friend with a 37 year old because he needs to keep on the youthful side of his life, you know. So that's where I keep Who needs to keep. What? 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 What are you talking about now? <laughs> You look older than people keep telling me that you look older than I do, and I'm almost yeah, okay. twice your age. Three times <laughs> and, you, and you know that's true. No, <laughs> no, no, no that's no. true. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like this one from Dan. What PAI need is Winston Winston Reed. Yeah. Winston Reed. Right, shall we go on then? Let's talk about go on, go on. All this um, what is this all this argument? Uh, all well, arguing, I'm... all this arguing keeps me... It's not arguing, right? Someone actually made a statement the other night. It's like, I'm Pep, I'm Guardiola. So, you know, I obviously go out and find the talent and I create these good, these good, you know, presenters, <laughs> etc. And that's exactly what we've done. You know, I'm Pep and I've, I've found, I've sort actually, still, you can be my Arnie. There you go. There you go. You were crap. 
and I found your new position. And now look at you. I've let oh, you go I'm off sorry, for you... your own wings. You've gone to China. You've gone to China for the... What a wanker. He talked. He is utter bullshit. He's gone to China to win the trophies. And then he's come back begging Anton. Anton, help me do this. Help me do that. But yeah, anyway. Um, anyway, should we talk about transfers? Dan, what are you talking about, mate? What the fuck off? <laughs> <laughs> do you know why, Dan? Do you know why? Do you know why? Because you look like you're the same size as my son. <laughs> what did you say? What did you say? You say the to same him? Size as my son. <laughs> actually, I'm only joking, Dan. And you know he's joking. But when I walked out across the coffee, I was actually going to hold Dan's hand because I was holding Freddie's hand. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Nigel, I, if, I should have been out with you. Well, if you'd have told me, I might have been rather than being doing this show. Where where are you? He's he's at some he's at some cabaret place. Look, what, look, that's what that's what he's up to. He's, uh, he's having a whale of a time. Look at that. He's having that's a whale of a time at a cabaret party on YouTube watching us. <laughs> he's watching nice. us. Nice. <laughs> Come on, okay. mate. I had so much respect for you, but you're sitting out on a night out at a cabaret dancing thing listening to us two Egypts or him, him, Egypt. <laughs> uh, uh, Eamon, I, I know I, we, we've we kind of said that not everybody wanted to move, but the majority <laughs> did. The majority. <laughs> Fuck of Anton, I'm 36 and five foot six. <laughs> 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 Come on then, let's talk about trap. We, we know there's only two transfers really that Moyes is interested in. You know, well, Zuma the is the number one defensive target. He's not coming. And, uh, he's, he's and, not coming. Uh, I don't know. Not. Do you not? Why? Why do you say that? Why do you say too that? much money and he's too unpredictable? We've, we, there's no point in bringing in another player that's like Oggy and Diop. It's just not happening. Well, I think he will actually compliment Ogbonna. No, he won't. Oh, here we go. Go on then. Tell me why. And I who would you have? Because who would you have instead? It, the, 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 there's a calamity. There is a calamity in Zuma. So to pay the amount of money that they're asking for and pay him the weekly fee, I think that is a line. I will be surprised if we get Zuma over the line or want Zuma. And if we are, I'll, I'll hold my hand up and say I got it all wrong. But I have no knowledge of it. I'm just trying to put two and two together and build the the, the situation from what we hear. Zuma costs a lot of money per month. He is. He would be a what? Twenty-five million pound signing. Twenty-five million. He's on sixty grand a week at the moment. He's apparently asking for double. It's a I lot of money. I don't think he's worth. He's certainly not worth one hundred and twenty grand a week. Definitely. He's not. won. He's won. He's won trophies. I think he's a good player. It's just whether or not he wouldn't be. He's not bringing in to compliment still. A player like Zuma would be coming in to take over a position. Like yeah, take over Dawson's or position or, or, no, or no, bonus at the, at the end of yeah. the season. Yeah, but yeah. The, but 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 there. For me, I just don't think. I just don't think it's going to happen. Should we have gone for Milen? There was talk uh, um, about Milenkovic, and uh, we know that deal's dead now. But uh, people were saying if the, a forty million pound deal was agreed, and and the agent was asking for anything up to seven million, I still can't believe that. But if the agent was, you know, that people are saying even. A combined total of 21 million was still a bargain for that player. Do you think we should have done it? Uh, <laughs> do you think we should have uh, um, gone for him, regardless of the agent fee, or do or do you think? Because I I suggested well, no, yesterday because we shouldn't bend over and and just do what they say. I mean, I don't. No, I, don't I agree. Know. I'm, with that. I'm, I'm hearing different things. I'm hearing that the agent fee isn't the seven million pounds. No, yeah. And I'm hearing it's a bit less than that. But I'm just still, you know, if they didn't get him for that reason, then that's fine. Someone put in here. I'm trying to find the comment. It, it, here it is. Here, well, you find Zuma, comment, wanna... Zuma is a screen for Tarkovsky. Well, we I talked about Tarkovsky. I wouldn't Tarkovsky, bloody, be surprised. Wouldn't bloody yeah. be surprised. I wouldn't bloody be surprised. We did talk about Tarkovsky before. Yeah, I want to address Eamon. Uh, what Eamon said: You either just be in or just be out. You can't be neutral. Well, not unless you've been bought off by the board's PR machine and you're pretending to be neutral to save face with the fan. I genuinely, genuinely, I am neutral. Because I dislike the board enough to not want them to stay. But at the moment, I can't see an alternative. And PAI are not an alternative. And whilst, and the other reason why I've gone neutral uh, is because Moyes is getting what he wants to run the footballing side of things in the way that he wants them to run. So I'm giving the benefit of the doubt. 
I want Moyes to now, after what's happened, I want Moyes to succeed. I want him, I want him to see through. He's got a three-year contract. I want to see him see through that contract and see where we're at between now and the next three years. Because if Moyes has now got the scouting system he wants, and he's up to him, you know, we keep hearing that the board aren't buying players, and yet it's Moyes apparently is now deciding who he wants and who he doesn't want. And uh, that's why I, I've actually said I'm neutral. Well, I don't like the board. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not that side of the fence enough to go, oh, I love the board. But I'm not si that side of the fence enough to go, I, I, you know, I, I, I want them out. So it, it's a combination honest, though, of the two. And to be honest, Eamon, as well, like if you even remotely think that that's maybe directed at the fact that we run this channel and we want to appease people, it's absolutely not because I am not a fan <laughs> of the board. So I am bored out. However, I'm not a bored out for for anyone and and I know a lot of people in a similar circumstances. So there's that you know, if this was to save face for having this channel, well, it's not because still, you know, we've done well, several look at this shows, point. but we've done several shows over the years still where I've witnessed you be bored out, bored out, bored out, bored out, bored out, bored out but not but not ramming it down people's throats, right, right, just no, logically no. coming up with your reasoning yeah. why you are bored out. Yeah. However, you start to see potential consortiums coming to West Ham. There's not enough evidence. It doesn't look great. You use your business mindset that you've got and you start to build up your case of why you think the way you think. And right now Eamon. you're saying GSB neutral because you yeah. genuinely are stuck in the middle. So yeah. if you can't Eamon. say GSB in, GSB out, what is he? GSB neutral. Yeah. That's it. We are I'm one of the few channels. Yeah, thank you. We're one of the few channels that actually never nailed our colours to the mask. We never said GSB out or GSB in or anything like that. We've, you know, we have our well, hold personal. On a well, hold on we, a second. We, we, My personal opinion. Personal opinion. Yeah. yeah. But as far as the channel's concerned, you know, we've never turned around and said this channel is all about yeah. GSB out. We've never said that. We've got personal opinions. But in, in terms of what the channel said, a lot of other channels, you know, up to them. You know, well, right do other channels wrongly. say they're board neutral? Well, no, 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 they don't, they don't. No, I've never heard another channel say they're board neutral. Well, there's a lot of channels, channels out there. <laughs> well, there's a lot of channels out there that say, and it's up to them, it's their call. There's a lot of channels out there that say GSB out. And and they'll they they've done shows on being GSB out. We you know we've interviewed. I remember a couple of years back we interviewed real um, real West Ham fans uh, or whatever they were called, you know. But we took a decision that at that time to take a very neutral stance. Whereas you get a lot of other channels that will interview Hammers United or whatever it be, and you know that they are completely on that side of what Hammers United say. What we try and do. Whether, I don't know if we succeed. I don't know if we do or not. We try and be balanced. So we are going to have Hammers United in. Uh, 84 light, that's pretty poor. Uh, we are going to have Hammers United in for a special show in in, in a few weeks' time. Hopefully before the uh, the March uh, on the 16th, is it? Or the 19th, uh, the Man United game. Um, but <clears throat> our stance is not going to be we're with you or we're against you. Our stance is going to be we're going to ask them questions. We'll get people in the in the chat to ask questions as well for people to make their own minds up as to what they want, whether they are back P uh, Hammers United, they back the protests, etc. I'll be honest with you, and it doesn't make me GSB in. I don't back the protests, but that's my personal decision. You know, you're not the got... only one, and you're and you're and you're <coughs> not, in my opinion, you're not a minority. Right. Okay. But what what we'll do is we'll we'll get uh, Hammers United and we'll let them have their say. You know, and uh, and we'll let them. So that doesn't. I am neutral. I genuinely am neutral because at this point... moment in time, I cannot decide. You know, yeah. if if it's right, I, I certainly decided that PAI don't don't feel right to me. But that doesn't make me GSB in. Like and with respect, Damon, I mean, with respect, and I appreciate you coming on the channel, etc. But you know, I I, I I don't we I don't feel like we need to be told that we've been bought by the club. <laughs> Absolutely not. Absolutely and, if we're, not. I, I, um, and if you actually listened to the full show, you would have heard what I said earlier on about um, being approached by the club several years ago, revolving their sons. So I'm not going to regurgitate it, but the point of the matter is, I'm telling you a fact, board out, still board neutral. That's it. That's how it lies. You ask my dad, he's board neutral. Um, and he's a he's a proper old school East Londoner, the 75 years old that went to the game, saw all the cups, saw all this, knows it inside out. So no, he's not been bought by the ownership either. So you know, there's there's ways and ways and means how people can twist things. So it's kind of 
I'll, I'll be honest, Damon, it's kind of pissed me off that comment a little bit, if I'm being brutally honest. No, no because need to, because people no, but have it is right because, to make... No, they have a right yeah. of an opinion, but when it's a kind of like an inclination of, the oh, well, suddenly fan channels, we don't do this as a fan channel to be like, oh, let's be a fan channel. Whoa. We could be... Doing that, we would we, be we've sitting discuss... here knackered, slagging each other off every two seconds. Yeah. We've discussed I mean. this before. We we actually, you know, we talked about what stance do we want to take as a channel. And it's very easy to jump on that bandwagon, the GSB out bandwagon. Very <laughs> it's very easy to jump on the GSB bandwagon. And I and I dare say we would have probably had more followers if we did that. We've got low following, you know, we don't have following as big as other other channels. But that's a decision that we've made. That's a decision we, we made. We could have easily have jumped on that bandwagon. Can we have a protest against the embarrassingly numpty? <laughs> See, not everybody's up for, uh, you know, uh, like I said, Eamon, people are less inclined to complain when the team are doing. Well, that's also a really good point. And people are. People are. A few channels now flip from GSB out to GSB in. I don't know any channels that are GSB out now. Well, that is an interesting point because I'm really surprised by that, to be honest, Eamon. Genuinely, I am. Because I don't, I, I, I didn't know that. Um, so, so, Eamon, I'm sorry, you, I don't watch all the channels, but you, so you're categorically saying, Eamon, that people are speaking out, saying that the board in, like that's the part I'm really intrigued about. I'd but be very surprised if that was. Everyone's the case. entitled to their own opinion, right? That's fine. However, I do find that hard to believe from from speaking to some people that I have done in in the way. But yeah, hundred percent, people can one million percent be board neutral if they want to be board neutral. And there's actually nothing wrong with being GSB in either, if that's what people want. Oh. <laughs> it's their prerogative. Uh, Mark Wake, Moyes isn't going to bring players in just to appease us, uh, the fans. He's looking for players who are going to improve our style. And it's the point that you made earlier, Anton, about when Pellegrini came in and, and the board threw money at Pellegrini and who's lost. And then went, there you go, go and buy a team and, and look how that turned out. So you're absolutely right, Mark. You know, he's not going to spend money uh, for the oh, sorry, you put that one back up. I watch a few and they still just be there. You go, there you go, Dave. Right, listen, Steve Iron is making the point, an hour and 22 minutes, <laughs> and we've not spoken about anyone sorry, Steve. or anything. Sorry, Steve. So, I think we should, uh, we, we you, you still, you know, we speak about doing this, and you're like, we don't want to talk about PAI. And I feel uh, like I'm getting to that. I genuinely, I actually, like don't. Can we do it? Can we have a pack now? This is the last time we talk about them unless but they no, end up buying the club. No, but that's, no, but that's stupid though, still. All right, then can we make an agreement then it. that you talk about them and I don't come on? Yeah, but you are going to come on. The point uh, I'm going to try and say to you is, is <laughs> if we talk about it, let's talk about it, but then let's move on. I think we need to move on from it because it's it's actually driving me a little bit insane talking about it tonight. <laughs> Eamon, right, you've, wound me up. About... you've wound me up, Eamon. Uh, no, no, me. no, Eamon, you've got every right to say what no, you No, he does. No, he does. He does. He absolutely so that, does. That, that, I've also got... wind you up. No, hold on a minute. But so, I've also got every right to be pissed off. Yeah, but fair enough. But, you know, you know. But like, you anyway, Martin, money will buy success, but there is more. Do you know what? I don't want to listen to him tonight. He's actually really boring me. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, absolutely agree, Martin. Money would buy success, but, you know, it will, you know, talking about losing our souls, people have said we've lost it already. But can you imagine if uh, if we went like Man City? Still, still, Jonathan, people, people are actually, hold on, no, people are starting to leave the chat. I've actually seen people saying, right, go to bed, night, night. Let's get in the nitty gritty of Lingard. Let's give people what they want. I think okay. we've overdone. I'm not going to lie here. We have overdone PAI tonight. I don't think we need to go This ain't about PAI. It's right, about well, Moyes well, saving his in. money. So, you know, if you read what people say, um, Moyes, uh, Lingard, yes, he's coming. I reckon he's coming. Uh, but unfortunately, we still don't know. Uh, you know, apparently the statement that um, you talked about the um, Moyes and his um, press conference today. And uh, when he was asked about Lingard, he was a little bit, um, he's a little bit shirty, wasn't he? Questions well, he are said, not for me. Yeah. They're for Man United. We enjoyed having him. But in my mind, he's Man United. It's not for us to discuss. Basically, he was basically saying, go and ask Man U. It sounds as if we've made our move and it's now down to Man U yeah. to tell us if we're having him or not. Is that because, right? Th th yeah, dissect it. it. And it's not for us to discuss because we can't discuss it. So it makes a valid point. To me, I read into, I said it earlier on, we've made the bid. It's now down to Manchester United whether or not they want to accept it or they'll come back to West Ham and negotiate. And at the point they agree or accept that, that's when they let the term, the player speak to the club to discuss personal terms. So. I, what I found telling more than anything, though, still, was the fact that it was reported on the West Ham website. 
There was no need for them to address it because I've noticed, because I do cover the press conference, they don't always put everything on the press conference. You have to dig a little bit deeper to get more information on the press conference. So you have to look at other sources and other reporters who report other information. I don't know if you knew that, but the West Ham website don't always report everything that comes out of the press conference. Right. So, but today they did. They, they purposefully, as if they put the Lingard. So I, I, I thought that was a little bit telling. Our bid's in, isn't it? I think it is, but there's no guarantee. Yeah. Our bid's in. It's really down now to uh, Solskjaer. I know apparently Solskjaer bigged up Moyes, uh, Moyes bigged up um, Lingard in his press conference today. But if you dissect, it's a shame that we haven't got Solskjaer's uh, statement, um, press conference statement today, because he, he talked about Lingard, and he but he again said about, you know, what's important for Lingard at the moment is to is to fight his way into the first team. You know, so he's not guaranteed, you know, we, we keep hearing stories that Lingard has asked for assurances about playing time and what Solskjaer came out with today and said it, he's got to fight for his place. He's got not given him any guarantees. So if that is the case, you know, I've got a feeling that a, an offer has been put in. And if that is the case, then what's stopping Solskjaer? Is he, is he waiting to buy someone? He's gone out and bought Sancho. Who else is he waiting to buy? Is he trying to tie up um, Pogba or other players to longer contracts? Is that why he's not letting him go? We know Marcus read, Ratchford I'm a, is... I'm actually going to read you um, Solskjaer's statement. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. That's, <laughs> that's so true. It's so true. That's exactly what I just did. <laughs> um, I think Jesse's first priority is to get into our team. Whenever Four your team. employer um, is Man United, that's your first priority, is always is. We together can have some great moments. Solskjaer said, as manager, with players and a squad live. I've got now, it's weird how this was written. It's difficult to say this weekend you're not playing. I've got to leave players out of starting living and squad, but they all have to remember they're going to play a part if we're going to be successful. Jesse's back to fitness, played really well in the B behind closed doors game, come back in good shape. He's got a big part to play. Now, I'm going to slightly dissect this one. I think Jesse's first priority is to get into our team. I think his first priority is to get into our team. I can't deny that. I don't think anyone would deny that. Manchester born, loves the club to his heart, still got a contract. That's what his intention is. But the key words are, I think. Not I guaranteed, think, yeah. I think. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Second part is, whenever your employer is Man United, that's your first priority. It always is. What he's trying to say there is... He's Manchester reminding United Jesse who pays club. his wages. Yeah, yeah. And, and Manchester United's stature of a club is that we are Man United. So even though if we say you're going to move, if you're even going to stand a slight 1% chance of being at this club, you need to show me that that West Ham talk is irrelevant. So he's being and, he's and let's remember the proof of the club. Yeah, and let's so remember good. when he speaks up Man United that, that way, let's remember his career was sort of made up as being a super he accepted that when he was at Man United. So he knows what it's all about to play for Man United and knowing that you're gonna have to sit on the bench for periods of time. So Solskjaer himself has been through that himself. And, he's and that's what he's it, kind of alluding he, to, and, Jesse. And he's highlighting it here. Um you're not it's difficult to say this weekend you're not playing. I've got to leave players out the starting eleven in squad, but they all have to remember they're going to play a part if they're going to be successful. Jesse's back to fitness, played well, all that sort of stuff. You know, he highlights and he kind of, you know, you start to press conferences for a reason, right? They've got to go and do the presser. They, I don't, I know a lot of the managers don't like doing it, but you know, they're pressed for questions and they get relevant answers. And I find that when we do the press conference and David Moyes, we always pick up on things. So. If they big up a particular player, you tend to find that they'll probably start that game. Or, you know, there was a big connection between, in this press conference, between Antonio and Ben Rama. So there's no ifs or buts about it. You get the vibe that Ben Rama is going to be playing in that central position. But he mm -hmm. then highlights in another statement that Ben Rama is going to be playing in different positions this season. So the only reason that made you think that Ben Rama is going to set the number 10 and Antonio is going to sit in front of him is because he highlighted that today. But if he didn't highlight that today, and only touched on the fact that Saeed Ben Rama is going to play in different positions, I would expect West Ham to change something up against Leicester. So I get that's, you know, just trying to build something from what they're saying. Anyway, mm -hmm. sorry. Mm -hmm. But I do think, yes, we've got an offer in. And I, uh, But who am I? I don't know that for a fact. Let me just categorically say that. And um, it's now over to Man United. If, if 
Um, uh, the, the, the thing I said in the show yesterday that I did was uh, Moyes is throwing all his eggs in one basket and he's relying so much on uh, Lingard coming. Has he honestly got an alternative? We, we hear about Origi and, and I do stand corrected. For some reason, I thought Origi was in his last year of his contract. But it, it, he's got it, it, you know, his contract's till 2024. So that there is a high possibility that Origi could come to West Ham on loan if not bought. But it, is that the only alternative? I know we, you know, no, Mar- it's Mar- not. Marcus it's Duram not. and Al- Alessana yeah. Player and a whole load of other players. And, and God knows how many players we've been linked to. What's realistic, though, if it's not Lingard? What is a realistic alternative to Lingard in David Moyes' mind? Sima, Arigi, um See, I say Sima, no. No, but... Si- Arigi, not... yeah. No, but I think no, Sima, but... Sima, no. But, but... I'm not saying what we've read and what we yeah. feel. I- I'm saying you're in... Mo- you know what David Moyes wants. David Moyes wants an attacking midfielder that can play all along that front line. Uh, or he wants a clone of Antonio. And, and 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 a clone of Antonio that's going to be happy to sit on the bench until Antonio gets injured. So with that mindset, who fits that? Who fits that bill? Who fits a clone of Antonio uh, out there and uh, that is going to be happy to sit on the bench? And who fits an alternative Lingard? You know, I'm how sorry. many players? <laughs> I'm sorry. Go on. I'm sorry. No, there's a comment. I'm addressing it right now, right? And I'm not going to... I'm, I'm I'm biting a little bit, Sam. I am biting. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm biting a little bit. Eamon's comment may be based on announcing being neutral because you're allowed to do what you want because that's the way that life works. You have your own opinion. You can do that. And we don't have to be bought for that. And everyone's different. Are you being bought by PAI to be GSB out? Because you could be. So I'll make that suggestion. Are you being bought to be GSB out because you have a GSB out opinion by PAI? I'm not saying that. So we're allowed to do what we want. I am GSB out, by the way, and I've not been bought by PAI. In quite an official way, before a club employee started working with you, who is the club employee? You tell me. Are you Who's suggesting that Sean, Sean is being paid by the club? You do that what you want. But the difference is, we bring him on and we question him, and we, 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 we you know, he's a, he's a, he's a nice individual. He's a nice guy. We have a good laugh with him. But you know, Sean's we, not we, a club employee, anyway. He, but he's not a club employee. But people go on, and this is what he's jesting about: is right, the okay. fact that he's been paid. Potentially, people think, oh, he's been paid. He's a club mouth, club mouthpiece. Whatever you want, you do what you want. But we decide as this channel what we see fit. If we think, well, we'll bring him on. It doesn't mean we believe everything he says. It doesn't mean we don't believe everything he says because we do it in a, in a neutral stance, as reporting, as you can say. And then all of a sudden, the involvement of Umbro. Well, this is where you've got to get your facts right. We've had Umbro for four years, Sam. We have had Umbro for four years, and you've heard many statements if you have watched the channel where I've stated what I state. So that's me bitten and... It's mate, you you yeah. you got you got a bit of a bugbear tonight, haven't you? Yeah, I have. Yeah, it's just a bit. Well, you've got to like... just you know, if that's what people think, then fine. That's what people no, think. No, absolutely. But, I'm you know. not. I'm no, but I'm cool with that. That's mm-hmm. the point. I, yes, I'm triggered, but I can. Yeah, admit I know I'm you are. I know you are. I've not seen I, you like this. <laughs> no, but I can admit I'm triggered. Right, I can yeah, admit I'm okay. triggered. The, the difference is, I can handle being triggered. That's the difference. I can handle it. I don't need to go f this, f that, f you, f that. I can. I'm. I'm triggered, but. I just don't like when people are referring to us I'm as... making suggestions a, that we've an been assumption. out. Because yeah. I tell you yeah. what, Sam and, and Eamon or whatever, um, oh, right, is he referring to to, <laughs> to Russ? <laughs> well, <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> Russ. oh my God, Russ. Well, okay then, I, oh, okay. If, if, let me bring that equation into it. Look at our videos before. Yeah. And look at our videos now. Yeah. Not a yeah. single thing different, mate. Hmm. Not a single thing different. So I'm not, I, I, I'm just going to state this one more time. I'm triggered, but I can handle it. I don't need to be abusive, but I like to build my opinion on facts or figures and make my opinion on it. You want to say we're bored in, bored neutral, you do what you want. But I'm going to say if you're GSB out, we wouldn't like the assumption of me saying PAI are paying you to say that. So please don't say that. Anton, mate, I I really have never seen you in this light before. You are <laughs> riled. You are, you know, you're upset by it. I get, I get, I get it. But, you know, I, I don't, you can't, you, you, I wouldn't you know, say, everyone. I wouldn't say I'm upset by it. I'm just, I think it's more, I don't know, awkward. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's I, not I awkward though, because the difference is I can, I can, I can, stressed my i'm allowed to have a rant and it's not a bad thing it's yeah, the way no, no, life it's fair, works. fair play so but I like just i said want to be, the thing is 
quickly. I, I, I definitely, I think the part I'm triggered about is being bought, you know, yeah. for a channel. I mean, if you, you if have you to look understand at... one thing, we're West Ham fans. Yeah. We're West Ham fans. If you if you look at the history of, of this channel, there have been people that uh, that have been on this channel that have expressed their personal opinions, whether they're bought in, bought out, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. <laughs> But like I said, we made a we made a, a, a we made a, a I think a bold move, you know, when everybody like Eamon was suggesting, when all the other channels were talking about GSB out, GSB out, we made a bold move a long, long time back, not to to just sit on the fence, sit on the fence, you know. So and I'm and I'm absolutely more than comfortable for for us to 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 be to to sit on the fence. It's like when we had the uh, Real West Ham fans. Um, a uh, group on and we we interviewed them we we tried to do it in a balanced way like i said earlier we got hammers united coming on they're gonna have their say and we're gonna do that in a balanced way you know and i've already said na- like tonight i'd actually don't agree with back the team not the regime yeah uh, i've already said tonight i don't agree with what hammers united do but i'm gonna give them a fair shout you know doesn't make me bored in doesn't mean I've changed my mind, et cetera, et cetera. But Anton's right, you know, and it's got nothing to do with Umbro. He's right. We've been we've been giving Umbro shirts away, you know, for years. So uh, ranting is part of being a Hammers fan. I totally agree. <laughs> <laughs> You've had it. <laughs> but the thing is, though, like, oh, listen, I know I have, I've been triggered before, but I can manage that trigger. That's the difference. Like, I can manage it. I'm cool with that. It's, there's no harm in being triggered every now and then. I'm cool with that. Good. Should we go back to uh, Joe in this channel? As many guests with different oh, opinions, uh, more diverse than others. There you go. I mean, how boring would it be if we all had the same opinion, eh? Let's go back to transfers. Dan, all for Lingard coming back, but surely he should have to work just as hard to get into our team the same way he would for United. For Manchester United. There's more than one United, mate. Uh, shouldn't be any games. Yeah, but you know Moyes will just throw him straight. But who's going to... I asked the question the other night and everybody seemed to avoid it. Who's going to replace... Who will replace... Um, who will be replaced out of the team that started against Newcastle for Lingard, Anton? Hard one, isn't it? Well, no, no. no. If, if, if Lingard signs straight away, then nobody... Yeah, but Nobody. you know Moyes will play him straight no, away. No, I don't think he would straight away. Oh, I really don't think he would. I think no, he I don't would. think he would. I don't. Let, you say for what game? For the Leicester game, if he had signed him straight after Newcastle. If he signed him, yeah, and no, he was eligible he to, eligible to play for Les, against Leicester, I, I think, think he, he would. would. I think no, but, because he's not got a history of doing that. Well, he always oh, beds these players oh. in. He does, and and, and 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 unless anyone picks up an injury, there was there was Lingard no came to... straight. We were doing well. I think as Dave Trevor had point, pointed out several times before. When we signed Lingard, we were still doing... We were fourth in the league. We were doing yeah, well. But Lingard first, walked straight into the team. Didn't his first game not walk straight into the team because we didn't no, have Antonio? No, he walked straight into yeah, the team. we didn't have Antonio against Villa. Oh, I don't know. I don't we know. We didn't have Antonio. We played oh, the false nine. Oh, I'm going to have a look at the he history. Scored, and he, did, he, scored, he scored He scored. A, a brace, remember. That, wasn't, that wasn't his first game. It oh, no, it was his, his first, first game. game. It was his first game, mate. It was his first game. No yeah, Antonio. yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, all right. Just saying. And in actual um, fact, still, in actual fact, every single West Ham, well, not every single West Ham fan, bold statement, a lot of people on social media were like, why would you start? Why would you start Lingard? Because people still weren't bought in to the signing. It was after the signing, it was after the Aston Villa game that people were like, oh, okay. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> because we would, we'd done the watch along and we were just like this. Yeah, I know. Yeah. What yeah, are yeah, we yeah. witnessing? What are we watching? Yeah. 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 Thank God he didn't get uh, uh, drug tested straight after the game. It would have been another. Uh, <laughs> would have been, oh, that would have been man. interesting. Jesse, can you come over here and give us a blood a blood test? Oh, I got a minute, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I think you need a bloody. Drug test. Aaron Yeager. If we buy Lingard, then Ben Rama will not have his chance. I think if we give Benny a chance to be in the starting eleven, he will do greater than uh, Jesse. I think we should buy oh, a striker. Shit. Sorry, I don't know why I meant never meant. Ah, oh, you always do that. But listen, I have to bring up Charlie Boy. I don't know if you've ever actually met Charlie Boy. Um, he, he's, he, I've, I've done something with you, Charlie. I can't remember what channel it was on. You're Brooklyn, New York, hardcore West Ham. He's got the most amazing Brooklyn accent. Uh, just a proper nice geezer as well. Good, good proper West Ham fan. And I love it. I love hearing guys like Charlie who've got the knowledge of West Ham and. You know, uh, uh, Russ was telling me, Charlie, are you, you, you is your family originally from London? 
you know, all that sort of stuff. Just let us know. It's just cool to build up um, this. But still, just for you future shows, like if you ever, Charlie kind of appears on some channels as a guest and, you know, he's, he's, he's pretty laid back, but cool. I think he's got on with them really well, actually. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Yeah. I'll bring him on with uh, Irish Tommy. That'll be interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Um, Richard, Lingard would be a useful addition because Ben Rama's playing in the African Nations Cup. Yep, he will be. Is Zuma coming? I think Zuma's coming. Anton doesn't think he's coming, Aaron. Um, the Kings don't rest. From our side, the United perspective, we're surprised, annoyed. You lot haven't bid. Uh, it's holding up our business. Good evening to you, Kings hold don't on. rest. Hold, hold on a minute. <laughs> Eamon, uh, my neutral comment wasn't actually directed at, um, was actually directed at Stel. I know it was. He said he was board neutral in the last show. Can't understand why Anton is getting triggered over it. Anyway, nothing personal. I know it's not. That's the point I'm trying to make. I'm not like... I, Mate, I, 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 you spent half an hour of this bloody show trying to like get over your trigger. No, but the point... At, listen, <laughs> I'm not triggered by it and he's aiming it at me. Not. I know. I know he was. <laughs> Eamon, I've not got no personal vendetta or nothing against you, mate. I just think the comment about the GSB neutral and the Umbro and stuff like that was a bit uncalled for. But yeah, we the live Umbro in a world was, was we, we, but, comment, no, but yeah. no, but but yeah. but but we live in a world where we can say shit like that, and that's the world we live in. So I'm okay with it. So I'm allowed to get triggered. You're allowed to get triggered, and nothing personal, mate. It's all good. Toby, uh, I can personally say the reason I enjoyed this channel from when I found it was because they didn't bang on about GSB out. And I actually learned some shit from an unbiased actual fan. Thank you. Liam, sorry, good evening, go. mate. No, sorry, let me oh, get this Sorry, go on, go on, bring that Charlie up. Charlie Boy, my dad's from Canning Town, came over in 1980. There you go. Um, so, yeah, Charlie Boy, good to see you, mate. Thanks for joining us. Liam, what about the players we're apparently in talks with? Mohamed Bio, we're not. Uh, or I would go for Edward. There's a lot of talk about Edward. Mohamed Bio, that's come out of the blue. All of a sudden, we're in talks with him. You know, I don't think we are, Liam, to be honest with you. And this is the problem I always do say, you know, be careful what you read out there. Um, well, we'll probably, um, we'll probably uh, <laughs> announce him as the new signing on Monday night. But I don't, it's him. the we first I've heard him. of Mohamed Bio. We won't sign him. I've seen the link, but I don't think we'll sign him. Edward? Celtic, would you have him? I, I still think he's. I, I, I think he's an option. I really do. I do think he could be a genuine option. He fits the mold. He fits everything that what Moyes is looking for. Let me put this up here. Eamon, it's just an impression I get misguided or not. Anyway, I'll see you at the next game. I'll buy you both a drink, but don't complain when I say I've bought you off. <laughs> <laughs> this is what Eamon's doing right now. <laughs> I'm like that. <laughs> WMP, I've been here since the still the um 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 days. This do, do, do you mean do you mean <laughs> still the still um no uh, um... mate no mate I thought you taught me all everything you knew and now I'm you're trying, uh, trying, yeah you try trying. yeah you are very trying extremely fucking trying Anthony um Kings don't rest and reply to the Man United fan Sullivan is still counting how much he has in his piggy bank before he makes an offer I think uh Kings don't rest I think we put an offer in I think we're waiting for for Solskjaer to uh to to allow it to happen you know I really do um Kings don't rest you reckon that four now should be dropped see this is a lot of people no. saying four now no way I would have said it I would no have said way. it last season I would have said it last season because I think there is a I think there's a last season I still would stand by my comment I'm, what are you doing Bowen stop it Alfie he's one of our better players he reckons Bowen should um go on the right wing no what no. but listen still we're gonna have to live with a bit of um Rotation. We're gonna have rotation's to fine, but um yeah. Yeah. But no, no, I'm sorry, Alfie. I'm I I think Bowen's one of our better players. Remember still, I taught Ant all in you. <laughs> no, you took that one off pretty quickly. You see, at Dan, he keeps saying that he's taught me everything I know. And now we know that you've taught him everything you know. He Listen, knows. Dan, you go. I'll give you credit where credit's due, mate. Oh, here we go. Here I'll give you go. I'll give you 30% credit for helping me. <laughs> <laughs> I give still no credit. Yeah, I know you don't, mate. I know, you know. But anyway. Without me, this channel would never have grown, but you oh, just won't have that, will you? Honestly. <laughs> 
Um, Joel, good evening. Uh, sorry, Four Nows. Been... Four Nows, we didn't mean to address this. Four Nows last season oh, no. should have, in my opinion, genuine opinion, I think there was games that we didn't need to play Four Nows, even if he was playing well, because I think that that would have affected us going forward. You know, if you think about games like Liverpool, when we were at home and we just got turned over, we didn't attack them, and, and, and certain teams we played against. However... I think this is the season that Four Nows will kick on, and I'm starting to see not just that grit and determination to get in stuck in for a tackle and track back. I'm starting to see that more of a creative side getting yep. forward and maybe chipping in with a goal as well. I think it would be really tough to move him out. And I think there's a lot of tough players, but we are going to be playing 60 games this season, so we're going to yep. see squad yep. rotation. No ifs and buts about it. Joel, Joel's made a good point. Why is it a binary choice of Lingard or Ben Rama uh, uh, if we won't have game time? Why not one of them both in the team? But you, that's why I asked the question the, the other night, Joel. If we do buy Lingard, I didn't I didn't say, oh, it will be in place of Ben Rama. I asked people, who do you think it will be? And people were saying for now. Some people were saying Bowen, et cetera, et cetera. And, and one, I can't remember who it was. One brave person said, uh, Antonio. You know, and ironically, I think, you know, in order to get Lingard and Ben Rama in the same team, it would be Antonio that would be dropped. You know, I'm not saying drop, but, you know, um, you know, halfway through a game or something like that. Or if you want to mix it around a false number nine. And I know people are going to go, you must be mad. But uh, out, of the, out of the team that started against Newcastle, you know, for me, the likeliest one could be Antonio to allow Lingard to play because I don't think um, Bowen or or Fornells or Ben Rama should be dropped. To be honest with you, still I want to bring this one up because this has been coming up Go a on, few mate. times. We've missed it. Happy Hammer, this is for you. Uh, for me, yeah, for you to read, Jen, and answer. Uh, any info on how I can transfer my season ticket to the Leicester game for someone on my work network? Right, okay, mate. Uh, you get conflicting views when you phone uh, the ticket office. So a lot of people have uh, screenshot um, that the ticket office have emailed them back and said, for the Leicester game, you can forward your email to whoever you want it to go to. So that has come, and that hasn't just been one or two people. Quite a number of quite a number of people have been told the same thing. So all you got to do is the email that you've received with your ticket on it. Uh, if you forward that to whoever you want to um, uh, use the ticket uh, for the game, apparently the club have said it's fine. I mean, I, I, I mean, what, what are we tomorrow? It's Saturday. The, the, the ticket office is open in the morning. I will try and get through and see if uh, if they will confirm that. But uh, I mean, I've got my daughter's ticket, but because it's an under twenty one ticket, which was going to an, an adult. I had to do it through the club because I had to upgrade it. So the club had to do that because there was no way of me doing it. But a lot of people have received an email when they've made an inquiry. Uh, I can't make the game. How do I get it to my friend, my family, etc.? They've gone, just forward the email to them. But uh, uh, if, if, if I were you, mate, I would try and give them a ring in the morning just to clarify that. But a lot of people have received an email saying that you can just forward the uh, the ticket that way. Eamon, it's just the impression I get misguided or not. Anyway, I'll see you at the next game. I'll buy you both a drink, but don't complain and say I've bought you off. Well, I'll tell you what, see if you want to buy me off. Join our membership programme and I'll put the link in the chat. Purchase a cheeky <laughs> thing and then I will let you say what you want to be, whenever you want. <laughs> there you go, mate. He did put a comment up here That saying, was fast. How is he going to put that back up? If you want to be oh, he'll find member, it. Sure. He'll find it. No, there was another comment here from Eamon. I'm just going to quickly address it. I just want to, just to know we it's all cool. Where is it? Shit. Oh, come on. Oh, my eyes, man. Well, Still, while you're looking for that, go. got to say hello to Flavio, Flavio all the way from Brazil. You know, mate, thank you for joining us. Much appreciated. I hope you will. Absolutely, mate. Um, here it is here. If no one can voice their feelings in case of upsetting peeps, what's the point in having opinions? You can. And no, even can. though I'm triggered, it's still cool. You can trigger me again. I'm cool with it. So I've not got an issue. Still, go. listen, mate, I'm not going to lie, though. I have got a crazy day tomorrow, and it's uh -huh. ten past one. We said we would come on early to not be on late. Well, you know that. You you know we're, we're just finishing off now. We're, I'm I'm scrolling down. Um, <laughs> I'm scrolling down to get some juicy uh, messages. The truth has come out. You're Dan's protege. It, yeah, Dan. You know has got to say take some credit oh, for creating this monster. Full. 
do for creating you believe it? this monster. Do you believe you it? Go. Of course he believes it. Why wouldn't he not? Why would he not believe it? Uh, all right. Um, uh, is Arigi any better than Od- um, o- o- Oko Flex? I'm, I'm all for I'm all for giving a lot of the youth a chance. To be honest, I'm all for it. But um, would I take Arigi? Yeah. Depends on his fee and depends on if it's a loan or depends on. I mean, Arigi on a I don't, on a loan deal, but would Liverpool want to do that? I don't know. Yeah, that's it. Um, oh, oh, I, oh, Eamon. oh Eamon. Eamon. <laughs> <laughs> I've been bought. I tell you what, I'm GSPN. I'm GSPN. There you go. There you go. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. That's it. We're done. Nearly, nearly two hours. Um, oh, Eamon, honestly, mate. That's cool. It's funny. <laughs> Any last thoughts? PAI, yeah. PAI out. Yeah. Is what I um, say. Any last thoughts? Yes, I can be bought. So if you want to buy my membership, <laughs> um, and that shows you, I mean, I can be bought with one membership. God knows what still will be bought with. So, um... <laughs> oh, even I'm building now. I've signed up just to show I'm not a horrible troll or PAI. In there you go. Thank you, Aiden. Uh, technically, appreciate. technically, I possibly am. Your anyway, Aiden's anyway, great. Um, what day is today? I don't even know. Saturday. I don't think we've got a video. I think there's a couple of my hammers 11s going out maybe yep. tomorrow. Yeah. Today. Mm-hmm. So All they're right. really cool. What we're doing is, and just to give you a bit of kind of transparency, there's some videos that are going out that are what we I think Russ is calling the rewinds. So it's content he had out on his channel that he's bringing to the channel to put out. However, he has got new my hammers 11s that's getting put out as well. So they'll be titled differently. So keep your eye on the channel tomorrow for that. Sunday, we will have a preview in the evening. Um, the plan is to have, we do have an opposition fan, but the plan is to have a special guest, but I'm not 100% got that confirmed yet. Pushing hard to get that sorted, but it might not be happening for this one. So keep an eye on that. Then on Monday, we are doing the match day live. I'll be controlling the match day live. Still, you'll be at the game. We'll be um, syncing up and, and hooking into the supporters club. So make sure you come and check out. Yeah, the Dan, Dan club. Love and I will be at the supporters club and, uh, yeah, Dan loves the roving mic. You know, I can't do that. So uh, I'm going to give no, it can. to Dan. I can't. And no, I won't. Dan will and do you, it. I know you won't. Uh, Dan yeah, I will. will. No, um, Dan will do it. And, Dan and will do it. Fine. You will not do it. No, I won't do it. That's what I no, just I'm said. telling you you won't. No, I'm telling you you won't. I'm telling you I'm definitely not going to do it either. So there you go. <laughs> if you want to join the West Ham United Supporters Club, membership at whusc.co.uk. It is good fun there. Um, they put out a statement to the, to the current members uh, and all new members uh, about what's coming up, which is quite exciting. And we got a mention, which I love. That is fantastic. Look, it also uh, gives you a little hint of the future. Yeah, uh, Gary you... Cray put up a link to join. What mate? What what link do you want to join? Is it the membership for a supports club, or is it a membership for the West Ham Network? Let me know, and we'll put it up before we go. Um, Monday. Like I said, we will be doing live interaction between here, me at home and the stadium. So please make sure you tune into that. There will be a review straight after the game. Stel, you're pushing your weekly to the Tuesday, I believe. Yeah, I'm doing it Tuesday. There's no yep. way I'm doing it after the game. Yeah, yeah. Oh, absolutely. Don't blame you. And there will be a rating show, of course, on the Tuesday as well. So plenty of content for you. And this is the whole point of the network, mate. This is the whole point of the network. Before I go... I will just put in both links for anyone that is wondering. I think who was it that was asking up there? Gary, Gary. So I'm putting in this membership. This is the link for our membership program on West Ham Network. And I'm going to get you the link for the West Ham Supporters Club, if that's what you were That is the about. Supporters Club, mate. The one I got up there now. Membership. That's of... Yeah, that's how you can join the membership. Yeah, but I'm going to give them the direct link they can click online. Right, okay. I, I mean, I'm going to make it a little bit easier for them. You do that. Uh, yeah, no, I will. Don't you worry. Yeah, you, you go ahead. Yeah, I will. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. <laughs> <laughs> so if you are, the link I'm putting in now is the supporters club. So if you want to join the supporters club, please do it. And like I said, if you are a member, you'll see some cool information and, in there. And by the way, it, it's not, the bar's not called, as I said in my last show, it's not called the last post. It's called the last drop. I keep getting it wrong. And uh, Andy, I bumped into Andy on the way home from Newcastle in, um, what do you call it? 
you know, those service station. You can tell it still doesn't drive. Yeah, service station. And uh, and he went, thanks for promoting the supporters club. I said, yeah, no problem. He went, you must be drunk because it's the last drop, not the last post. So there you go. Um, But, you know, you get all the details. Are you going to put the details up then? I've done them up. Look, for those who sports club, Stella and I drink dark rum and coke. There you go. Look, <laughs> no, Dan. no, no. It's spice rum and coke, mate. Spice oh, rum and coke. Mate. Join the official. So here, here we go. I'm going to put them up. Where are we? Where are we? Where are we? Oh, my word. Right. So this link here is to join the West Ham Network's membership. So there you go. That's in the chat. That's this. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The next link is the link that takes you to the West Ham. No. That oh, one. Still. That was still <laughs> the West Ham uh, Supporters Club. That's to join the West Ham Supporters Club. And finally, the Discord link. If you want to join and come in and have a chit chat with everyone, then you can. Anyway, still, this brings an end to our show. Definitely. Mate, if you're going to do late shows, you've got to be up for it. None of this bloody, you know, what, finishing two, half, half two way. hours. I did a daily yesterday. You're going to lie. You're going to lie in tomorrow morning. Yeah, I am. I am. Exactly. I'm not. Yeah, I know. Yeah, you got to take your kids out because you stole their uh, games room. That's why yeah. you got a gap early. The games room. Yeah. Sorry, I don't live in Chelsea. <laughs> Going to my games room, children. Neither, Let's go to my games room. I've neither do game I room, live in Chelsea, Anton. Neither do I. <laughs> there you go. Right, should we piss off now and let everyone go to bed? No, tell you what, maybe you should piss off and I'll just finish it off for this. <laughs> right, listen. Um, don't know what he's been. I've been Anton. West Ham Network. Subscribe, like, comment. Thank you for joining us. Stay safe. And what is it Russ says? Wash your hands. Wash your hands. <laughs> <laughs>